Everyone, it is time for... Hold on. May, may, can, can I make him say it? New Super Mario Brothers. Wee-hee! Wee Hello. It's time for New Super Mario Brothers. Wee-hee! Um, and here, Solar Frost for you. Just for you. There you go. All right. So, uh, I've not played this game in a long, long time. Uh, it is widely considered to be one of the more mediocre Mario titles in terms of like, it doesn't do anything super crazy, but it's fine. You know, there's no, I think it, it falls under the same thing that we do with Zelda where there's no truly like bad Mario game. Uh, and there's no bad Zelda game, you know? So we'll see how it goes. We'll have some fun with it. And, uh, we'll have, we'll have, a, we'll have a fun time. Hopefully I am playing with my Wii remote here. Uh, and this game is played with it sideways. I don't recommend 100% this game. Don't worry, I won't. Oh, there it is. A little bit down on that volume if you if you can, Master Mario. Master Mario! Hey, look at this. There, there's some worlds. I've beaten this game a few times in my life. Uh, we'll delete this one, though. I have very few memories of the levels in this game. Uh, if I have memories of these levels, are going to be because I played them in uh, uh, Mario Maker, people remaking them. This is my favorite new Super Mario Bros. game, but that's like saying what my favorite type of bread is. <laughs> that, too right you are, Green Hero. Green Hat Hero. This game is amazing at first, but now it's because they're one of the weaker Mario games. Yeah, just because it doesn't innovate on a lot. It, it, it gives us some, like, I guess that's the, uh, the, the, the twirly whirly suit, I think, so... Uh, yeah, let's have a go at it, shall we? Oh, hi, Ryan. Hi, everyone. I appreciate you all uh, being here. Let's have a go. Let's make sure timer's working today. Timer's happy. I'm happy. Just just me. Just me, video game. Today is Princess Peach's birthday. <laughs> wow, look at that cake with odd decorations. Oh, Junior, the Koopalings. You know when a stripper comes out of a cake, that is the opposite. We put a non-stripper forcibly into a cake rather than a stripper forcibly or, or willingly coming out of a cake. That's the opposite. Oh yeah, there's penguin suits as well. This game is running, of course, on the Wii, so you can see the the, the the little bits of 480p in the video game, just on textures and stuff, uh, which isn't great, but we'll make do. And again, uh, for all the runs of every Mario and May, we will not be doing any uh, warps, so we will avoid those cannons. Yeah, we should have a fun time. Let's see, let's see how well I remember how to play this game. So I can do the twirl now by shaking my Wii remote. Um, is there is there any other ways to do the, sh the twirl? No, it, it's only shake. Gotcha. The Wii remote is a, is a pretty pretty good controller for sideways platforming. Honestly, I forgot how the D pad feels good. Yeah. When this game came out, I was like, oh yay, the Koopalings. I missed them in the DS one. After a few years, I was like, no, walk back, too much Koopalings. Um, I don't mind the Koopalings being a, a series constant, honestly. I, I have no problem with them. No, not you, Siri. I didn't say Siri, I said Koopalings. Oh, I said series. Oh, no, 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 not you, series. My phone was just like, hey, hey what, what, do, what do you need, buddy? I'm like, no, 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 no. Gotta keep the Koopalings and other generic enemies. Rather than boom boom. I do think the Koopalings could use some more, uh... More playtime, you know? Like, they, they, they could, uh... We could give them more interesting arenas and more interesting, uh... Powers. I got the, my money-making game Blu-ray, but cannot access the digital version. The site just gives me an error. Northern Beast, I would recommend you 
DM me or I have a business email on my Twitter account at Super MC Gamer. Uh, I'll be able to better solve your issue if you message me there. I don't know why the site would give you an error, but it's worth checking out. And I, I, I can't really help you uh, while playing Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> but I'm glad you got yours. I'm glad you got yours. Yeah, the Yeti wouldn't know about the digital versions that that are included with the, the on the like the little card. Yeah, that, 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 that's my business. Sure, I'll, I'll take Ice Flower. Ice Flower is exponentially worse than Fire Flower, by the way, because I can't kill enemies. I can only freeze them. I mean, it, it does disable them from hurting me, but they, they are in your way. Well, Fire Flower gets rid of them, so you can, like, just, like, you know, run around. Oh, God. I thought that guy would go back in as much sooner. What's up, video? Hopefully you and Kure are doing well. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that Fire Flower. Fire Flower is awesome. What are you talking about? It's fine. It's not bad. It's just not as good as Fire. Ooh. Fire Flower is my buddy. We've been friends for a long time. What's up, Louise? Welcome. What's what's the emote? I can't see it. It's too small. Oh, the celebration. Last thing at home uh, from work. She's about done making dinner. Things have been great though. Oh, I can talk about dinner. Can I talk about dinner? But first, I have to do a professional review of lasagna though. Uh, professional review of lasagna. When it's good, it's great. When it's not great, it's still a lot of pasta and sauce. So you know what? I'm always okay with lasagna. Although, if you have a lot of lasagna, you really feel the lasagna. I'm gonna give it an 8.12 out of 10. But I can talk about dinner because I had a... <laughs> So me and Arctic went for a nice walk out out in the in the real world today. Uh, we've been trying to do that at least daily, but we've been slacking the past couple days. So we wanted to make sure we got back on the horse today, um, and it was really fun. But I I, I I slept most of the day. More on that later on why. But uh, oh hey, sure. Hopefully this isn't the secret exit. Okay. Um, We got home and I was like, I really need like caffeine. I really need energy. So I was like, uh, what, what is, what, what can we, can we order like pizza or something somewhere where we can get like, you know, like a, a soda pop with it. And, and our actor was like, eh, I don't really want to do pizza, you know? And I was like, okay, let's get something healthier. So naturally we got barbecue, which is obviously much healthier than pizza. It's not. All right. Bye Yoshi. Thanks for playing. Um, but yeah. Uh, the barbecue was fantastic, though. I had pulled pork, got the brisket, got the sauce, got some potato salad on the side, some bacony green beans. Oh, and a big, a big old glass of cola, which uh, is why I have energy and I'm talking so actively on my stream and not taking a nap. Bad news. What letter? Uh, video. By the way, um, barbecue chicken sandwiches. I feel as a ten out of ten. I love barbecue chicken and anything you put on them is fantastic. Uh, I saw a couple questions, by the way. Are you guys still doing the Zeldathon? We are not doing a Zeldathon in person. We are not doing uh, a normal Zeldathon, but we are doing a, an event with the Zeldathon team on June 5th. It's called Side Quest. Uh, clever little name because it's not our main Zeldathon quest. It's a side quest. Uh, we're all going to be doing, doing it from our homes. And our the big reveal is uh, very soon on what games we're playing and what the schedule looks like. We have a lot of very... Very fun items on the schedule. It's not all Zelda, mind you. In fact, it is very little Zelda. It's more non-Zelda than Zelda. Thank you, OC, for 78 months. I appreciate you, buddy. The, the, the real Mario. The, the real Mario All-Star here. Except for Super Mario All-Stars. That's the real Mario All-Star. Um, this is my first every Mario and May stream. Have you been beating one game per stream or did some of it take a bit longer? I'm doing mostly one game per stream, 
but I have some exceptions in place. Uh, all of my streams have been planned for this month in terms of how long the games are going to take. Um, if you, it's, uh, the, uh, every Mario May info document was posted just below your chat message. So you can check that out if you want to find out when I'm playing what games and when I did play what games. Uh, although that's a little inaccurate because of boss levels. Uh, that sucks. Um, but yeah, the good, the good news is I've had a pretty dang wonderful time so far with every Mario and May. Uh, Mario Galaxy 2 is going to be two streams. Uh, 3D World is going to be two streams. I think that's it. I think there's only three two streamers. Oopsies. But yes, no, I, I had... I had a barbecue for dinner and it was fantastic. And I'm feeling alive. Odyssey, Odyssey is a one day. Odyssey is the grand finale, so I made sure it was a one day stream. I wanted to make sure I'm giving you guys the, the most exciting conclusion. The Odyssey will be one big, long, fun stream. That said, I do have two days technically where I can, in case Odyssey does take too long, I can split it up. I really like this Mar Mario Thon. I like that you're focusing on just the core platformers. I had to draw the line, and that's the biggest thing. If I didn't draw a line in the sand of what games I was going to play, we'd be here playing uh, Mario Tennis. Five times. Not any with Mario teaches typing. I could probably use some Mario teaches typing for next time I play VGM quiz, man. Gotta go faster. I imagine all season too long if you're not going for all the moons. Exactly. I, I might do some incentives for like making me get more moons, but we'll see. Discord dies. Dad, you see? Absolutely, I will save. Thank you. Jackson, I saw you were streaming earlier, and I'm once again sad because I still need to pass you on one of the greatest pieces of commercial music that I've ever heard in my life. But I don't want to do it until I can see your, your, your expression live. But I keep missing you. Keep missing you. I got my alerts on for the Jackson stream, but doesn't that doesn't help me with my my busy sleep schedule. I haven't streamed in a month. You can't be blamed. Okay. How are you in Amano? Tell me more on how many Mario games there are. Yeah, if you guys really want to see somebody doing like every Mario and 100%, go watch OC stream. He's uh, He's been doing a, a, a real every Mario challenge in terms of every Mario, not just the super, the super Marios. I was going to call it every Super Mario in May, but it didn't roll off the tongue as well, so, you know, I'll take a good name over, over accuracy any day. Absolutely not. I think if you use the ice on uh, those guys, they will, like, clog up the, the, uh, the windpipes. Every Legend of Zelda in Q3. I like that. Have you played SM64 this month yet? Yes. Once again, uh, ch check the every Mario document. It is up to date on uh, what games I've played, what games are still to come. I've been playing them mostly in order. Some people got on me because I did a Mario uh, run, and I'm like, I wanted to do it. Main Mario May. Now that just sounds silly. There's been also Super in the name anyway. Super Mario Strikers, anyone? Yeah, exactly. Super Mario Party. Every Pikmin in the weekend. Man, that could actually work because Pikmin's not a large series. It's like four games, technically. There's the main three plus Hey Pikmin or something. I just don't know how long those games take. I don't, I've never been a fan of Pikmin. All right, let's let's, let's tango, dude. And now a tango. The song is not a tango. Maybe it's, it might be. I don't know if it's a tango or not. 
<laughs> Every Alexa planked in this half hour. I like that one. Yeah, most people games are timed, so. Are versus Mario Brothers and Super Mario Brothers the same game? Uh, technically not. I don't think so. I don't know. But versus is supposed to be like a two-player game. The more you play uh, Pikmin, the more fun it is. Yeah, that's why I don't have any fun with it because I've never played it. That's not true. I, I I played a little bit of Pikmin, not an extensive amount, not an, an amount that you could classify me as somebody who has played Pikmin. Ooh, look at all these coins that I'm not gonna get. I'm out of here, dude. Hello, Macho Man. Welcome. Macho Man says, "Oh yeah." That's the delivery that we're gonna go with today. What? I totally cleared that. I cleared that. Her sure, dude. That, that's what we're looking for. Cheaty mushroom. Dude, I could, I could speed run this stage. Okay, um, actually, um, I have some, some thoughts. Wow. Hold on. Video game opinions coming in at you today. So why is Mario Wii such a bland feeling game? You might be wondering. Well, I have some thoughts on why it feels a little bit more bland than other games in the series. Uh, it's not that bland. It's just that I'm playing it one player. This game is a lot more exciting when there are four characters on the screen. Like, as you can see, like how big these like areas that we have Mario on, like I have like, you know, a very small amount of screen real estate. Cause usually we're at the end of combat with four total players. Um, so, by playing in one player, you're like, I don't know, the stages aren't built for just one person, kind of. Like, they work for one person, absolutely, but, I don't know, it just, it, the world looks big. Four player's fun. I played a lot of four player Mario in my time. Uh, I enjoy it. But that that's one of the reason why I think that Mario Wii is kind of a little bit more of a black sheep. This town is quite adequately sized for the two of us. You can live over there on Smith Street, and I can live over here on East 34th. It's a large, it's a large town. I don't want it. I'd rather take this mushroom. See what I can do to get over here. Oh, here we go. This is this is what it's about. This game is best played with three people. Now there's an opinion. This town is adequately sized for the both of us. There's four saloons. I'm sure we could actually handle, you know, four or five more four fellas. In fact, we could probably handle 18 cowboys. With a questionable amount of clothing. I hope the saloons offer takeout service. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, can, can we talk about how I'm gonna eventually be playing a game called New Super Mario Brothers 2? And this is the second game released in the New Super Mario Brothers series? Can we talk about how Nintendo has a naming convention that doesn't make sense ever for anything. The third new Super Mario Brothers game is New Super Mario Brothers 2. This is fun. May, may I have a, a fire flower, please? I may not. Hey, 
And by the way, th th through, through all my criticisms of this game, I would like to say I'm having a lot of fun. This is quite quite enjoyable. See, I, I've heard one of the greatest things about Kingdom Hearts is that the name Kingdom Hearts 358 over 2 makes perfect sense if you if you actually play the game. I don't know about 2.8 HD Remix, but uh... Why can't Kingdom Hearts learn from Zelda? Name it after something important. Ooh, a key. The naming makes sense because the story doesn't. See, if your game doesn't make sense, you don't have to have a name that makes sense. You don't even have to make a video game. You can just release a movie. <laughs> Hello. Hello, camper. You would check your name on an amiibo this, this fine day. Thank you for the bits. Oh, aha. it's him. It's Roy. Roy Koopa. What? I I knew his ha. Daisy. I don't think anybody's claimed Daisy, so I will put your name on Daisy. Yeah, no, she's free. Congratulations, Daisy. It is. Craig Prost. Yeah, I don't know him. I, I know Jeffrey. Hey, Looks like you're having fun so far. Yeah, it's good. Is Lucario free? I don't know. I, I would check the document. I believe so. Ah! Thank, thank you. Thank you, Cure Jupiter. Oh, well, that was a great time we had with Fire Flower. Fire Flower lived a long and healthy life. I'm actually surprised Nintendo never released the, uh, like, Koopaling Amiibos. Like, seven quick Amiibo they can make, you know? Uh, come here. Okay. Wow, he took out the whole, the whole, the whole village. The Discord, uh, the, the sub Discord, uh, came up with a great incentive for the final days of every Mario in May. Uh, instead of just letting you guys put your name on Amiibo, just let everything in the room be, become available. With the exception of myself and the camera's lens. So that way you can still see me and the game and I'm not in, like, in pain. <laughs> There's already a hot contention for the empty bottle of Pepsi that's sitting on the floor off stream. And if I do do that, I'll, I'll, I'll also lower the, the bit costs or something, I don't know. But that probably won't be until at least Galaxy 2 on like uh, Saturday. I really I really would like to, to hit, hit the top of the flagpole. Look at that. Why do they not have a Funky Kong amiibo for Tropical Freeze? Very true, man. How many bits for the spot on the chair? I don't know. Is that sponsor me? You have a Discord server, MC? The the like 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 Taylor just said in the chat. The Zelthon Discord is uh the place to be. Excuse me. It's discord.gg slash Zeldathon. God, I'm sorry. I'm hiccuping. The microphone's foam. Oh, that's a good one. Tylenos already wants to get the um, the conditioned air, not the air conditioner. The 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 conditioned air. I hate to see it. 
this. You hate to see it. 600 bits for the side of the mic there. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge later. We'll cross that bridge later. It was a pretty funny incentive, though. Somebody was eyeing the carpet. They're like, I don't want to put my name on the carpet. I'm like, there's plenty of real estate there. <laughs> that would actually suck, because then when I finish stream, I have to, like, step on names. We'll cross that bridge when we sweat there. Wait. By the way, Jackson, I, I watched through, I, I got really emotional. So I watched the jam train. Uh, I've been missing my Zelda Fawn friends. So I, I watched through the jam train the other night and uh, from forces. It was, that, was a, that was a dang good time, that uh, that jam train. My, 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 one of my top top 10 Zelda Fawn moments probably still has to be the slow removal of the hoodie to reveal the Buzz Lightyear shirt into strange things. That it. It was cinematic. You, you, you couldn't have written it better. They don't add, uh, uh add extra power-ups. So you get your levels to inventories. Yeah, that is a little sad, but you know, that might be a little bit powerful. You know, this stage kind of sucks. It's like, oh, you can't see, so you have to be more careful. I'm just annoyed. I just want to go. Uh oh, that's what I get for for playing bold and bold, brash and beautiful. Old reliable. You know this 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 man's gotta die. He had wronged me for the last time. You've wronged me for the last time, bro. Am I, bro? I had a. Last night at 4 a.m. I made the great decision to watch Back to the Future Part 3, and I'd like to apologize. Uh, I previously on my stream kind of min miniaturely slandered. Um, I don't know how to do that. Um, Back to the Future 3. I really enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it more than I, than I remembered. I thought it was not as good as the other two, and I don't think it is. I, I still think it's not as good, but it was still pretty enjoyable. You gone butthead. Dude, I, I love the character Biff Tannen is the perfect jerk. He's so hateable. But also still just like they make him a moron so that way like even though he's detestable, you still like I don't know, he, he's he's the perfectly punch most punchable character ever in, in uh in movies, I think. Hey Glenn, how are you, buddy? I hope you're doing well. I was I was talking to to, to Mark uh, yesterday, and I I, I I mentioned to him. I said it to him, but not to you. I don't think. I'm very grateful for all you guys have been doing and keeping up with lots of stuff going on amidst the craziness of our world. You guys are rocking it, and I appreciate you. Also, I did see your uh, in your in your movie watching thread your your, your Back to the Future review, so that made me uh, happy. I felt validated. Some of my thoughts. Better than two, nowhere near one. Exactly, exactly. I, I, I think I feel feel like that too. Three gets better every time I watch it. And I watch it many times. They're they're, they're pretty heavy handed with uh, Doc and Cla Cla Clara's uh, like relationship building. Like they're they're pretty heavy handed. Like. Obviously, they have to write an entire good romance in, you know, a movie, two hours. But it's a little heavy-handed. That, 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 I think that, like, but it has to be, because that's, like, the main crux of the movie. So, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't discount at points, but I also thought it was sometimes a little bit more heavy-handed. Your kids wanted to watch them? It's a good taste. After watching through Back to the Future in its entirety now, I feel very confident saying it. It's probably some of my like top ten movies. Like, like, or if I like, if I could lump them together as one series, I'd say like top ten series, just because they are so enjoyable and they have so many like, they're just cleverly written. They're so clever. They're so clever. Yeah, 
It blew my mind finding out the guy who played George McFly in one of the same in two, which why he's in heavy makeup and upside down. Yeah, we talked about that the other day because I, I was talking about how I watched through two. Also, hello to Flying DeLorean in chat. What? You're very relevant right now. <laughs> this game is so fun to play because I get to talk to chat. I get to have wonderful discussions about Back to the Future. I don't have to like stress. You know, as long as I'm like keeping up at least one of my eyes over here, I can still keep another one over here and then I can't see nothing. My eyes go all blurry. Dave, I would love to. What? I don't know what I'm The first Back to the Future is a bunch of 30-year-olds pretending to be older and younger than 30. You know, I could never uh, pinpoint how old... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Do Doc Brown's actor. Ugh. I'll know his name the second, the second somebody says it. I could never figure out how old he is when they were making those movies. Because he's definitely, I think, younger than... Christopher Lloyd, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, he seems like he could be... He's much younger than actual Doc Brown. Because, you know, when I see him now, he's definitely an old man. But he still doesn't seem like he's, like, the oldest man. I don't know. It's really weird. You know, that's been 30 years. Impractical Joker, thank you for the 500, uh, 500 gay bits. Oh, wow. How about 500 gay bits? <laughs> thank you for your charity work. Call scene direct must have been a nightmare. Uh, I mean, my name is a bit long. So could you name Link Joker for me? Uh, I can. Uh, I have many links available. Uh, I don't know which one you would like. We have... I believe Smash Link is still available. Uh, NES link. Ocarina of Time link. There's, mu there's multiple. Let me know which one you'd like. He was 47 in 1985. Okay, so he's actually getting on there, you know. Thank you again, Impractical Joker. Let me know which link you'd like and I'll get your name on it. Post stream. Smash link is cool. With, with the P stick, you got him. Smash link. All right. Let's get out of here. Um, so, some news, by the way. I'm try I've am i been trying to keep you up to date on the possibility of this home being purchased by, by yours truly and yours truly husband. Wow, that doesn't work out as a sentence. But uh, just letting you know, uh, a little update. We are, things are going okay. Things are going well. We're on the same page as the people selling the house completely. So we're, we're, we're in a good spot with that. The bad thing is I have even more homework to do. I, it, I gotta say this whole being self-employed thing. I'm like, you know, also technically running a business is like kind of awful in this process because they need to know everything about my finances like, i've given them everything i've given them like all my bank information all my taxes like it, it's enough to make take a to, to make to make you scream it's like and they're still like we need to verify you're actually going to be able to make your payments i'm like i make money <laughs> i'm like I, i'm employed I, I have a job i mean i'm not employed but you know it's so irritating it's so irritating Let's know if the house next to you goes on sale. It's sad it was up for rent the other uh, other month. You know, this sucks. Yoshi, you wanna? Yoshi! Just wait until you sign the 150 page disclosure. 
I don't mind. I don't mind signing and reading stuff. I hate that I still have to provide documentation. Like right now, they're like, we need to find out uh, if your business is still making money during these times. I'm like, I'm an event planner, and we're not planning events. So the answer is no. But I still get paid. <laughs> Please just let me buy the house. <sighs> it's pretty. It's pretty annoying. Pretty annoying. Uh, and I and I hope it gets better soon because I'm I'm pretty tired of going to my accountant and being like, can we get this? documentation and he's like it'll take an hour of my time i'm like how much is an hour of your time he's like 300 bucks i'm like if 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 i would find if i know what i need to get up front that one hour could probably get all of those things done in an hour so we're working on it but the second i'm done getting my my homework done with for these people uh it's gonna be smooth sailing because once again, the person who's selling the house, they love us, or, or at the very least, they don't mind us. And we're on the same page where they're like, we just want to get rid of this house. We do not want to have it anymore. And we're like, we would like to not move and we will pay the fair price of the house. Did I make a duck noise? I don't know. Oh, I got the right one. Yippee. Sure did. Okay. I've learned my lesson. In the past, I actually zapped this man. But if you zap him, you can't get through. Does your husband work with you? No. He has his own job. That's why his whole part of this whole mortgage thing has been great. He was like, here's five pieces of paper. And they're like, all right, you're good. I'm like, all right. He, he got the good end of the deal. Having a real job made this stuff so much easier. It's true. Having a real job makes everything easier. I'll tell you that much. Any of you who are like, thinking about like, ooh, I want to do this with my life and blah, blah, blah. Absolutely, go for it. Just know you're going to have a hard time when it comes to like anything financial because everybody's going to doubt you exist and you're, you're good at what you do. <laughs> I don't know if they doubt it, but they, they, they have to verify you're actually making money and you're not there like, I don't know, trying to sell... I don't know, piece of fabric on Etsy. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying not like plushes and stuff. Those are good art. I'm saying like just <laughs> cutting out a square of fabric and uh, I don't know, <laughs> shipping it to somebody. I can do that. You sell note cards in your room. That's not my job. <laughs> it does help though. <laughs> my job is not selling note cards. <laughs> I'm an event planner! <laughs> Discount loincloth, there we go. Attach a string to attach a string to your your, your fabric and then you got a loincloth. MC Brandon note cards win. I bet that could be easy. I bet any sort of like paper company could like put print like a MC watermark on him. I actually kinda want that. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand Program Ninja. No, I, I'm fully aware why I have to do so much homework. I'm just tired of it because I've been gi giving them papers for like over a month now. And I'm just like, please, just look at the papers. If you look at the papers, you'll find out all the information you need. So, yeah. <sighs> we'll be fine. And I will keep you guys updated on my many adventures. I'll try not to annoy you with the boring details. Come back. Oh, come back. <laughs> I don't remember Mario saying that line. World three, eh? <laughs> Who's that, though? I mean, just not that into you, Mario. All right, about to go. 
That one should be Lummy. Cool. Whoa, penguin! All right, here we go. Uh oh, oh, geez, no. <laughs> All right. Oh, I love this power up. It needs to return. Oh, we. I don't know, isn't it just like basically the blue shell? Is it not just the blue shell? Didn't this power up already exist? Oh, but this one could shoot ice fireballs too. Right. Right, I'm sorry. Watch your profanity. Yeah, I can do this. This game yeah, makes me want to pick up uh, Mario U Deluxe on Switch. It's very funny. I, I've never played Mario U Deluxe, so I, I'm really excited to play that. Um, I played Mario U and beat it a few times, but never the Deluxe. Wario Deluxe. That's an actual voice line Charles Martinet recorded. Well, not not what I did. Oh, please, 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 please. I will hydrate after this level tune. Oh, wow. It's the same game, but I don't know. It's on the Switch. It's on the Switch. Mario time. And I love my <laughs> Nintendo Switch. Sorry, I died. Only temporarily, though. Good news, everybody. I got a wonderful email from a CEO. Scott Kirby from United. Oh my God, what's he offering? United Clean Plus. Oh my God. Well, now I have to book a United flight and put my health on danger. Can't believe a CEO emailed me. He must have knew I was looking to get out of the house. Well, he's wrong. I never want to leave my house. I'm not an agoraphobe. Uh, I, I do like leaving my house on occasion, but I'm never like itching to get out of the house. I mean, that's not true. I'm itching to get out of the house exactly right now. But like, usually in a normal circumstance, if it's like MC, you, you don't, have, you can't leave the house for a week. I'm like, whatever. Not leaving the house for like a month, you know, two months. I'm getting a little bit stir crazy. I'd kill to see the inside of a giant eagle grocery store right about now. A giant food. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Oh, no, he got me! Oh, what a professional. You know what? I hope he said we're all in this together. I can, I, let me check. Oh, I'll check after this level. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta find out if we're in this together. Or if he's given up. Someone else did the email. They stick their name on it. No, this is actually from Scott Kirby. You know how you can tell? Look at his signature. It's right here. He signed the email himself. Read it and we... Oh, hey. Scott Kirby, <laughs> CEO, United Airlines. Hold on. Now more than ever, blah, blah, blah. Even these difficult times, I'm looking forward to uh, announce that I'll be taking on the role. No one has changed so much. Uh, we can achieve that after one uh, we are not in this together anymore. Use that signature to sign your mortgage papers. <laughs> Nobody would know. They'd be like, ah, this reads MC. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm feeling a little chaotic, when the, the delivery man's like, I need your signature. And I'm like, oh, thank you, Arnold. Why are you delivering <laughs> my packages from FedEx today? And he's like, just be a sign. And I'm like, okay. 
Sometimes if I'm feeling a little bit reckless, I'll sign somebody else's name. But like, I'll put MC at the end. Or my real name. I've signed like, like, like very badly, but with like, nobody could tell unless you knew it, if, if, if you knew it was going to say that. Like, it's a bad signature. I've written Willy Wonka before and then my name. You know, I really don't want to go to the that level. But that, that's just my way of being chaotic, you know? Uh, I, I don't I don't think I'm a very bad person, but you know, sometimes I just want to write Willy Wonka on, on, on a piece of paper. Sorry! How are you? Thank you for... 31 months. Sorry, I had to check. If I hit a month of months, is there some sort of prize? Negative. Okay, you're not good. That's it. Everlasting gobstopper. I hate gobstoppers. Jawbreakers, those things. I saw them on Ed, Ed, and Eddie, and I'm like, that must be the ultimate candy if, if, if Eddie wants one so badly that he's willing to do all these crazy schemes. So I got myself a jawbreaker as a kid. This thing suck. Hi, Optimus Gaming. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely like jawbreakers. What's the point? Like, you can't have them in one sitting. They're, they take too long to, like, slurp because they have so many layers. And nobody wants a candy that you've previously slurped on, you know? I mean, not, like, not sharing, but, like, even yourself. Like, if, if I've slurped on a candy, I don't want to, like... They break your jaw. Yeah, and they also break your jaw. The slurp is the best part of IMO. Oh yes, the first time, absolutely. Small jaw breakers are good. Oh yeah, yeah, those are fine. Watch this. Whoa. I guess you could say he never saw it arriving. Oh no! I missed out on another power up right there. Those. I'm trying to think of worse candies than jawbreakers. Carlos! Thank you for the resub. Don't know if you got my Discord message, but uh, I have some ideas. I'm going to be messaging you later, my buddy. My buddy, my pal. Bub. I don't want penguin suit. Discord's like down. Yeah, I heard about that. Did you say Carlos the worst candy than a jawbreaker? I did not. I said I want to think of a worse candy than a jawbreaker. And then Carlos entered. Toffee candy? For the most part. I've had some good toffee candy. Not usually, though. Butterfingers should be my favorite. I've always hated Butterfingers. Those things suck. Can candy corn is an acquired taste. One that I have not acquired. But... I would not put, it's in the lowest tier, but I would not say it is the worst. Payday bars, I, I cannot give my assessment because I do not remember them. Candy corn jawbreaker. Okay, see, and whoa, wow. Think you're funny. Twizzlers are good, same as red vines. 
Reese's, are you kidding me? I'm going to ban you from chat. I'm just kidding. I'm going to ban you from chat. I'll report you. No. <laughs> Reese's are absolutely number one. Reese's are great. There are, I, I do think the Reese's company has gone a little bit uh, n n insane with like all their different variants, and I think they should calm down. But I'm only kidding, by the way, Shadowhawk. <laughs> You're valid for not liking a candy. Milk duds? I will... I I like Whoppers. Some people hate Whoppers. I know a lot of people don't like Whoppers. I like Whoppers. I'm not a fan of white chocolate either, but it's probably far from the worst candy. Dark chocolate Reese's? Hmm. I haven't been there. I know you're messing with me, MC. Just want to make sure. Sometimes I, I'm a little sarcastic with Chad, and sometimes people don't appreciate my sassiness. Like, okay, MC, uh, I guess I'll never come to your channel again. I'm like, no, it was a joke. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Hot take. I don't really like new Super Mario Brothers music. At least the bar, bar, bar. I don't like that. I never have. I don't know if I ever will. It does not inspire joy. Then Mario Odyssey came around in that. That's some good stuff. Yummy, delicious. Yummy. Ooh. Oh, wow. I thought there might be a lot of coins there. Oh, I'm good, Shadowhawk. This way. This way. Dice levels thus far, yay, near, whatever. They're fine. I, I, I'd give them like a solid 7.9 out of 10. They're not bad. Let's go. Local Star Gun made me stop watching Small Ant One, but he never apologies. And, well, I don't want to talk about other streamers. I, I don't, I don't know who that is, so I don't want to be here bad mouthing any other streamers. I don't know them. That said, I, I have encountered streamers before. Uh, not that one, because I don't know. I don't know who it is. Um, that have been outright mean. The chat members who are like not necessarily trying to be toxic and I, I, I've been guilty of it before but I usually make sure I apologize if I'm like because sometimes I, I'll, I'll, I'll get a little testy I'll get, I'll, and, and, and my sassiness turns into frustration and I don't I don't like to take it out on chat but it happens you know I'm not gonna pretend like I'm a I'm a saint I've been like please stop giving me advice like, I know you're trying to help. I'm one of those streamers. Nah, Jackson, you... Uh, I, I, I won't put you on the spot. You don't want to be on the spot. <laughs> Front seat gaming encouraged. Yeah, no, I, I, I've had some streamers that I've start, stopped to watch a little bit because I'm like, eh. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit of frustration and rage in, it, in a streamer can be good. Like, I, I, I don't like everything to be all sunshines and rainbows all the time, because then it feels a little bit like, hmm. But uh, yeah. But there's a difference between being. A, a, a little a little frustrated sometimes and just being like an annoying an annoying mean person which I have encountered on stream I'm like yeah I'll, I'll, I'll skip that on you for a bit but again I'm no saint either so this, this is not an attack on a specific streamer
Uh, if, you, if you can, a practical joker, probably not best to call out. <laughs> like I said, no, I don't want to talk about specific people. That's a. Uh... It's not a. It's not a look I want in my chat. Because remember the golden rule of Twitch: if there's something you don't like on a on a streamer's channel, you don't have to watch. You can leave. I'm one of those streamers who will not stream if I'm not 100% because time and time again, nothing being mentally, really mentally there has caused problems for myself. Yeah, uh, for the most part, I, I try to be similar where if I'm not feeling like like fully on board with streaming, I, I'd rather just not stream. But you know, then I still do stuff like every Marian May where like, I know I have to stream like every day uh, that I'm available, you know, or else we won't finish the challenge. Pearl body paint. Jackson, on your recommendation, I, I I went and watched some body painters just to see what all the hubbub was about. I was like, I've never seen a body painter, and man, they they really do just you, 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 they, they, they hide they hide the, the important bits, but woo woo that was a joke. Yes, yes, please please don't report body painters because some because what what I saw was I was like, wow, they're they're really all out there. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, this is impressive. There's some dang good body painters out on Twitch. I was, I was impressed. I'm always curious about what, what's the, what's the hot new, the hot new craze on Twitch. Did you ever watch the Teen Titans back in cartoon back in 2003, 2006? I just got the complete series yesterday. Uh, I have. I mean, I, I watched it when I was... I watched it live. <laughs> I watched it when it was on air. Uh, I, I can safely say I don't have any interest in watching it again. It's one of those series I think is a little bit too kitty still for me now. Less than some than a lot of cartoons, but you know. I really like uh, Teen Titans, though, as a, uh, in a general rule. I really think instead of Teen Titans Go, they should have like, they should have appealed to their current crowd and like done like the, the just the Titan series. Like I, I know there's a Titan series, but they, they could have done like, like a more formal animation still and had it been in the, the Titans universe. Could have Beast Boy become Changeling officially. Could have had, uh, Robin become uh, Nightwing. Nightwing's a fine looking superhero, by the way. <laughs> I remember there was this whole, uh, there was this whole Twitter thing, an, an official like uh, DC illustrator, like made artwork of like all, all these like DC characters. And then there was Nightwing and he was the only one with his back to the camera. And <laughs> they really drew his butt. <laughs> Like really good, and it was it was official artwork, and everybody was like, "Nightwing, <laughs> Fl flushed emoji." <laughs> and I was like, eh. "It was pretty, it's pretty rad." I was like, "I was like, they, 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 this artist really just went for it. They, they, they shot their shot, you know." <laughs> I was like, "Cool." It sucks that DC like media beyond the, the actual comics, apparently. Is so, uh, I don't even want to say hit or miss. It's miss or miss, usually, uh, with a side of hit on, on the side. A light dusting, a spice, a, a paprika. Like, I heard even that the Titans TV show was good. Sometimes. <laughs> Dude's got a dunk. Thank, thank you for saying that in my chat. I appreciate it. Miss or miss? I definitely have never hit. Huh? You. There is no good in the Titans TV show. None? I thought there were some. I heard like there were some positive reviews on like like some episodes, but some were like pretty fun. I was right. I'm doing good. I'm having a fun time. Also, uh, apparently Sab's here. I, I I totally missed it while I was talking about. Nightwing.
You know, as a kid, I always thought Cyborg was the coolest. But as time has gone on, I'm like, wait a minute, he's just a cyborg. His whole his whole power is he is a cyborg. That, that's not impressive. Not, not in a fantasy world. Like at least Iron Man, like, I don't know. He's a select he, he's a he made the choice to be a cyborg. I don't know. I never I never had a lot of as a kid, I thought Cyborg was the coolest. Nowadays, I'm just like, wait a minute. Yeah, he doesn't want to be a Cyborg, but... To be fair, he is a cool Cyborg, but... You know. He gets his powers from the an alien box. What's up, Clinkit? Welcome. Good day to you. Starfire. Teen Titans. I don't. I don't know. I don't know the song. No, that, that that was going somewhere else. Dun 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 da da, dun 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 da. Ducktales, woo! <laughs> That's my favorite so theme song. <laughs> I'm switching to a uh, a normal person schedule now. Oh, good, good, good. I hope I hope you're. Oh, sad face. Why why sad face? I thought you'd want to be on a normal person schedule. I love this game. I still love this game. This game's fun. You know, I you know I called it a mediocre game on my Twitter post, or an, an, an average, the, mo the most average of all Mario titles. And I don't think that assessment is wrong. But the more I'm playing it, I'm I'm you know it's it's a solid game. I'm, I'm like one thing I like about it is it, just because it, it's not hard, I get to have a a fun time just like playing it nice and casually. I'm not a morning person. Me neither. Gummy Bears theme song. That's not the I'm a Gummy Bear song, is it? I know that one too well, and I don't like it. I can't play that one on Twitch. They they not only mute aggressively, they, they, they've... They, they, they block videos for using the I'm a Gummy Bear song. Uh, I, I would rate that song a 0. 0.2 out of 10. It gets some points because it has some intrinsic value. This game was somehow my entire childhood in a major blur, so I had no idea how. Exactly, like, I don't really remember these levels. But at the same time, I remember everything about these levels. And I don't know how to describe that. So my question is, how am I supposed to pass by here? It's like mash? Okay. Well, you can just flop on the water? Ah! Oh! Oh, nobody told me that. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Artsy. I, I don't envy that. Oh, look at him go! Oh, oh, that's a lot of joy. See, the penguin suit is great. Okay. I didn't know it did the water, the little water scoot thing. I, I enjoy that. You see, I don't, I don't want to associate with that man, but it looks like I have to. Yeah. 
I just remember the pipe of on World 4 on the DS. I might must be that. DuckTales Moon theme. Oh. No. I'm on the right track. Bop, bop, bop. No, that's, that's the main theme. Sorry, there's too many bops going on now. How's that one go? Uh. Da da. Da 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 da. No, I'm so close. I know how that song goes. Ba na 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 na. Ba na ma. Ba da ba. Ba 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 da. Ba da da da. I'm so close. I'm so close to the actual song. F major. F major. <laughs> there's a there's an angry video game nerd joke for you. This song's written in F major because it F's me majorly. <laughs> F. <laughs> there you go. That's my original angry video game nerd joke. If James Rolfe is ever looking for a for a, for a brand new writer, just let me know. Jackson didn't like that. <laughs> I think it's ba 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 ba. Ba 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 <laughs> ba 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 <laughs> That's it. Thank you, Carlos. I give that song an 8.81 out of 10. <laughs> I know you're just doing your job. Well, Carlos, why do you have sheet music emotes? What is this? Oh, it's the lick. Oh my God. I time. I've already forgotten how to play the lick on my melodica. Why wouldn't he have sheet music emails? Well, I, I didn't know they were his. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -boo. <laughs> professional review of Insane in the Rain music. Okay, so I'm going to do a professional review of the artist Insane in the Rain music. And not insane in the rain, Carlos Eni, my good friend. Is anybody really into jazz anymore? <laughs> Old hat, Carlos. <laughs> it's 2020. The YouTube audience wants disco. <laughs> they want bluegrass, Carlos. Give us bluegrass coconut mall, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, I, I enjoy Carlos's music a lot, and it's the reason why I still use it for almost all of my things. And I, he is one of my top choices whenever I'm looking for new music. Carlos Eni, Insane in the Rain music. My friend Carlos gets 10 out of 10, as do most of my musician friends. Jackson gets a 9 just because he doesn't want to be at the top of the pack. Don't talk about me. <laughs> Carlosini and Insane are two different people. They've collabed together. That's true. Insane in the Rain music wears shorts when he plays the piano. Carlosini wears a suit. And he can, he goes and plays with the 8-bit the eight-bit big band or whatever they are. What should I order from Jersey Mike's? Finally, a question befitting my knowledge. None of this professional review of musicians or anything. Finally, a question that I can answer. Um, I don't know what you like, um, but I always enjoyed their uh, their cold cuts because they cut the the meat there in the store. So if I had to give you my recommendation, I would recommend like a club or a club supreme. I like those. I want more steel drum music. Feeling hot, hot, hot. I really went for it, but I, 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 I backed out. The Italian. Uh, uh, if you, if, okay, here's a recommendation from Jersey Mike's expert, Super MC Gamer. Uh, a lot of people like to get it Mike's way, which I do like as well. Except I don't like the red wine vinegar and olive oil and oregano they put on there. I usually put on my own. 
uh, additional like barbecue sauce topping after the fact, but that's just me. What should I draw? Uh, that's a great question. You should draw Blueberry in a Mario hat. I've always wanted to see Blueberry in a Mario hat. I could go for like a thousand pictures of that and make me happy. Draw death. That's morbid. Penguin Mario with a sandwich. <laughs> can, I, can I have a, a picture of, of Super Mario holding up a Jersey Mike sub and he's saying, It's wonderful. <laughs> I like the pastrami. <laughs> meatball. Meatball, meatball, meatball taco. Some of my favorite Animal Crossing lyrics of all time. I unmodded Jackson in my channel. I unvip Jackson in my channel. <laughs> I'm considering petitioning Twitch to give him an anti badge that just takes le the, the letter J away from his name. So it just says Axon Parody. Camp Camper, thank you for gifting a sub on behalf of uh, the sub you got. Oh, and Sab got it too. Nice, Sab. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy. I don't know. You're cool. Sab, we should work together on something sometime. You might be saying what? I don't know. I just want to work with people all the time. I want to do all the collaborations and have all the time. Water and water and water, water level. Do you ever design characters for any projects? If so, what do you do to get around art, artist block? I don't really, I've not really designed characters. I have character ideas, but I've never like designed anything. Like if anything, I collaborate with artists to make up designs. Like the character Blueberry was done by Six Alona after I gave a lot of ideas on what I wanted. But it's only thanks to artists that I'm able to take my, my visions and make them real. Same thing goes with musicians. A lot of times I know what I want, but I don't know how to do it. I'm like, Carlos, what if there was more bass? Like a, like a bass line in, uh, have to know. I think there already is a bass one. I gotta choose something that doesn't have a bass line. <laughs> like, like a slap bass. Slap bass funk hateno. <laughs> and Carlos is like, what are you talking about, MZ? I'm like, ah, ah, ah. I'm really happy to. I've been doing some more work for LPs recently for meal. Oh yeah, Let's Plays. I was like, is that like an EP? EP. <laughs> MC, you're getting me to draw again. Thanks for the inspirations. Hey, thank you, uh, Artsy. And if you and if you ever uh, make any art that's uh, relevant to stream, feel free to submit it to the Buru. I, I wanna I wanna keep doing art segments. They're fun. Adding a beat drop to a Mario song. Oh, well, welcome back to Game Shops today. It's Toad House dubstep. Toad House Lo-Fi. That'd actually probably be fine. That'd probably be good. That, and by the way, that that's not a slam against Game Shops. I've I've listened to some. Wow. Bowser. I've enjoyed some of their, their stuff on their albums before. No, but I am a materia man at heart, you know? You guys don't have to listen to my channel if you don't want to. Fantastic. Fantastic. No! This VGM Game of Thrones crap needs to stop. Everyone, I'm gonna be mean. I'm gonna be mean right now, and I and I and I, and I, I, I was thinking about this the other day, and I talked to Arctic about it, and he disagreed with me. But oh, hey, nice link. Thank you for uh, making your Twitch Prime sub a uh, a non Prime sub. Appreciate that. It doesn't have an alert or anything, but thank you. 
Um, so here's my controversial opinion. I just don't care about the the Game of Thrones theme. People lose their gourd for that song. You know? It's memorable, but it doesn't inspire an anything in me. I don't know. I, I never watched Game of Thrones, so maybe, you know, I had to watch it to get the, the feels. But, oh, Sab, Sab agrees? I don't know. I just never really, like, got the, got the, got the, 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 the how much people freak out about it. What's up, Scran Strangler? <laughs> Welcome. How dare you be so mean? No, 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 ba da ba 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 dee ba 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 dee ba ba. And that's all the song does. Ba da ba dee da ba dee da ba da 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 ba dee dee da. This has been a professional. There are better games out there in songs anyway. Yeah, I don't know. That's just my, my, my opinion. I don't claim it to be the most valid opinion, but it is mine. And I want to go in this door. Oh, did I win? Oh, I got the secret exit. Is that the correct exit? <laughs> Me. Where does that lead me? Oh, 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 right to the castle. You know what? We, we like that. We, we like that. That, that thing is what we're about right there. Skips the whole level. Fantastic. People seem to tend to uh, like certain songs. They have some emotional attachment to it. Oh yeah. Oh, a, a thousand percent. It's why I'm a, I'm a goofy nut for a credits roll from Link to the Past, but everybody else is like, it's a fine Zelda song. And I'm like, yeah, but it's emotional for me. I have a lot of good memories tied to that song. And I also think it could be even more if they took the motifs and put it in Zelda more prominently, but they don't. But that's just me. That's because I'm a nut. I'm a weirdo. Me and Pokemon Platinum. <laughs> yeah, see? If I'm still not sick of Megalovania. And that's the cool thing about songs. And music. You can have a strong emotional attachment to a song that <laughs> other people have no care for. Did you call me, MC? I don't think so. There's a reason why her smile on every summer is one of my favorite covers. Exactly, Iliad. On paper, that that cover uh, definitely could use some. Uh, it, could, it could do for a 2020 redo. I'd be okay with that. But you know, makes me emotional. Has a lot of memories tied to it. Needs more bass, obviously. I meant slap bass, not like. But yeah. I know some of my VGM friends get like, not mad, but they're like, why are you playing that track of mine? That track is from 2014 MC. You know, I'm a much better musician now and I have much better Zelda songs if you really want to play them. I'm like, yes, but I, but I like this one. Makes me emo. Jackson Purdy, can you bass boost your accordion for me? MC, you know what's going on for the future Zelda and the world pandemic going on at the moment? I not only know, I'm planning an entire event. Okay, I'm going to die, apparently. You should uh, check out twitter.com slash Zeldathons with an S on the end. Or instagram.com slash Zeldathon. We have Zeldathon's side quest event coming up on June 5th. My favorite cover of Carlos's. Uh, here we go. 
Is, 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 is any of the ones where his mom's in the background walking around in the living room? That's what I'm about, man. I'm a man of simple taste. Hey, MC, loving the hair. Thank you. I, I, I put in gel because it's starting to get to, to the length where I need to put in gel or else it will be a disaster. Twenty thirteen. Those weren't twenty thirteen, Carlos. I think you mean those were year one. And I'm not a fan of this area. Summer of covers. Summer of covers too. One of my other great memories I have of, I don't know, just musicians and stuff is uh, at the one Zoltan, I knew two, two winters ago, I think. Sab uh, gave me a preview for Ganondorf cover. Or Gan Ganon's Castle, I believe. One of the Ganon themes. My brain's fried right now. I really enjoyed hearing that. It was cool. I, I like it when uh, musicians share like their in-progress stuff. It's been nice. I've gotten to hear a lot of Basunify stuff beforehand because he's brought his laptop over to the house and... You got an amazing pace here. It take me four times as long to get here, to be honest. I'm just playing this game. This game's not too hard, so I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Is this the world, world 4 boss already? Yeah, that's a pretty good pace. So this is a Wendy's. I, I need a I need a meme of me like like the the Drake meme of me refusing to uh, commission my musician friends for touching beautiful pieces instead me commissioning memes ah, wonder. like jackson I, I i i got him to do uh let's get it on for for one joke worth every dollar you made me want to pick up the trumpet again so i haven't touched in four years do it it's fun the trumpet's cool You can play the funeral song. Cool, a, a mushroom. I wish I had one of those. Oh. The toughest Wendy fight in any Mario game. Yo, so you haven't had the triple baconator. That's a tough Wendy's fight right there. The triple baconator is a very powerful challenge. I'm retired from meme music. Everyone's retired from meme music until uh, the next Mega Medley. Play Country Roads. John Denver! Hello! I, I always jump early. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what Baconator fries are, and at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. They're fries that are with bacon on them. Oh. All right, Wendy. Wendy 2. Yeah. 
The problem is the water impedes you. Three. Got her. I took my time with it. That was close. Yeah, I, I took my time. I, I slowed down the pace for a minute. Wendio, Wendio Koopa. All right, we're off to world five. Ah. But first, airship, airship uh, bonus stage. Which I find fun, a little twist on the, the formula. Welcome back, Optimus. Probably should have done a power up. But as you can see, this game is pretty easy that I'm sitting here on 33 lives. Mecha Koopas. I forgot there were Mecha Koopas in this game, honestly. I knew they, they got added to the Mario Maker, but I didn't know they were in this game. So I, I thought it was really impressive when they added them to Mario Maker. Turns out, not so much. What I, what I gotta do for a fire flower? You know what? Life, life has a way of giving you what you need. Cause remember, you can't always get what you want. I'll stop now. But if you try sometime, you might find. Get what you need. And what I need is a fire flower. Okay. Take one of these blocks and dead <laughs> and we're moving on to world five halfway through the game already look at that an hour and a half in not too bad of course the later the later worlds are a little bit tougher won't take us a little bit longer, but I can see us finishing before the four hour mark easy. So that's nice. You calm down, sir. This is not necessary. Do you plan on streaming Mario Maker 2 again? Possibly. I mean, I'm at least going to do Mario Maker 2's uh, story mode at the end of the month. On the 29th, I believe. Tara, what's up? Hola, sure. Every Mario does not include the RPG titles. We're doing all Super Mario uh, platformer titles. Just because I have to draw the line somewhere. And uh, otherwise, we'll be playing the uh, Mario Party and the uh, Mario Teaches Typing and everything. But you can check out the challenge details. There's a nice uh, link that was just posted in the bot by Cobot. Uh, in the chat by Cobot, rather. 
Um, full details on when I'm streaming each game. Wow, oh, would have been nice if I could have got a power. My God, it's a Donkey Kong game. Oh, the... my friend and I used to play a game when Ventrilo would like enter with "Oh, poor favor." It made zero sense and always made us laugh. Ven that sounds like Ventrilo days. That sounds nice and silly. Mario is not a good Donkey Kong. No. You know, I'd like this this uh, piranha plant to cease operations. back to old voice services other than discord i get really anxious like i used to spend hours on skype hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on skype skype was the stuff skype had good good uh text chats and and voice chats skype was the thing uh, i i like then microsoft bought it and it slowly went to to the heck. But of course, some people had TeamSpeak. Of course, I used Mumble a lot. Some people are going even more retro and talking about the ICQ and the AIMS, you know, and that, that those are definitely things that existed. I don't have as much memory of those, but... ba 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 da boo da ba doop Best Star World theme? Hmm. I don't know. Yahoo Instant Messenger. I just want to talk about Google Wave. It's going to be the future. It's going to revo revolutionize email and chats. It's emails and instant messaging all in one. God, Google Wave. I can't wait. I used Google Wave. I really gave it a shot. I really wanted Google Wave to be a thing. Nobody else did. Very sad to see. Hello. Hello, Wiggler. He really came in and sat down on me. Wave was before its time. I think Wave could still be a thing if it was given a, another shot. MC won't add me on Google Plus. I don't know how. Whoever knew how to add somebody on Google Plus, I didn't. It's really sad that no 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 company ever truly beat Facebook. Facebook really did dominate and still dominates to this day. Even though, you know, I'm sure many of you are like, I don't use Facebook. I deleted my Facebook it's nine years. I'm sure I'm in the same boat. I, I log into Facebook maybe once a month. I, I don't know, but but they, they still they still have it, you know? They still have it. They still have the the predominant market. Old people rule Facebook. I can't believe these old people have Twitter. Why is this old man got Twitter? I had a Facebook back when they required an EDU email address. I can't stand Facebook. Facebook is so bloated. Like it has so much going on on it. Like even when they're like, we're, we're, we're revolutionizing the website. It's a new design. And I'm like, oh. And so I log in, I'm like, let's see this new design. And it's like, oh, it's not much different, is it? It's a little bit nicer. The reason I keep posts about on Facebook is to post about how I'm going to quit Facebook. Yeah. Hello. 
Hey, Jackson, when are you going to McDonald's next? Can you pick me up some of them? Perhaps Pitbull? The entirety of Pitbull? Every album? Facebook has a dating service? I wonder if it, like, disables if you're, like, Mark is married. I've never seen an ad for that. DeviantArt got a major overhaul update. When? Recently? I haven't heard about it. I mean, I saw that their logo changed a few years back, but don't know when they updated their site. Uh oh. It fully went through today. Oh, so today. All you just have to use Eclipse now, and it sucks. Well, I can safely say I don't know what Eclipse is, but you seem mad about it, so I'll be mad with you. Arr. Arr, Eclipse. Oh, it's, oh man. The, it was, when, when it was different, it was better. What are we talking about? I've always been a website redesign defender. <laughs> Like, hey, don't do that. Um, I've always been always on the side of the websites in, in a lot of cases. YouTube, I used to always defend. YouTube, a little bit less so now. YouTube's made some decisions that I've not been happy with. But I used to always defend them. And, like, companies make those decisions based on a lot more feedback and information than we give them credit for. And for a lot of different reasons. But YouTube has had... Uh, made some questionable decisions recently. MC had a party when they moved the description to below the video. Man, people freaked out when they moved the description and title. People were like, why is the title not above the video? People were like, this is the end of YouTube. And I'm like, I think it actually works kind of nice. And here we are. And it, everybody doesn't mind it. Remember the one channel update? No. Uh, what, what, what was that? I mean, I, I probably do. I just don't remember what being called the one channel update. All the cho cool channel art we used to have. Oh, I remember early YouTube where you could set your own background. The backgrounds were the coolest thing ever, man. Whoa, a fire flower. Don't mind if I do. I'm moving to vid.me. Yeah. I think people are naturally resistant to change. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Eslo. Also, hi, Eslo. Um, but I'm I'm usually of the opinion that all change is made usually with some thought, and I do try to give credit to, like, designers and web developers because in a lot of cases, the, the, there are decisions that come down from above that are bad decisions that are only there to make money and not actually for usability. Um, and accessibility, but there are a lot of changes that happen that people freak out about just because it is different than they they like and they don't consider the the benefits or why those decisions were made. And, and in those cases, I usually do defend. I like to defend the web developers. I was hard looking at the stream, not even on purpose. I well, ho hope your day is going well. Whoa. I honestly use the, the star just like the star system. See, I think the star system is a great example of a great change. The like dislike is a much better metric because people either five starred the videos or they zero starred or, or didn't rate at all. Like, like one starred. It was basically a like dislike system that was kind of weighted and was. Bad. Oh, I get it, but I liked it. <laughs> That's fair. It's been a sleepy day, been raining for a week straight. I feel ya.
<sighs> How's a man supposed to get up there? That's the answer. Hold on, let's see if we can get him, get him out. What does MC stand for? It's my name. I'm MC. anything the chat says old youtube was so cool i remember saying federal friend request god i video responses i think are need to make a comeback i'm ready for video responses to make the grand return be sure to leave a video response telling us why you uh enjoyed this video That answers the long range question I had. Well, there you go. Who's this guy? Oh my god. Alright, well, I died. Sure, I'll take a mushroom. I forgot all about those guys. Bah, bah, bah. Me too. Bah, bah, buddy. Bah, bah, doo, 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 doo. Oh. My fire fire. Ice fire. I noticed this stage, I always skip the level. Well, I saw the other stage I could do was a ghost house, and I really just like ghost house, because they usually rely on some sort of dumb trick. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. Is he speedrunning? I am not speedrunning. I am doing a challenge to beat all the Mario games in a month with no specific time requirement other than beat them before the month. I'm timing just to see, you know? How long does it take to casually beat Mario? Uh, I have all questions like that one answered on a nice little document. That was just posted in chat by Cobot. Uh, thank you, Oloran. A cannon, the lever, the camo. Oh, I see. I understand now. He just didn't do this level. I like that I have the propeller box. The propeller box is powerful. I like that they chirp so much. They're really cute. What have you completed? Check the document. The document has all the info you need. It saved me from having to say it all. But basically, every game up until here. Uh, Mario Galaxy 2 is our next game, and that starts tomorrow. Really excited for Mario Galaxy 2 tomorrow. Because I've always said that Mario Galaxy 2 is, like, my favorite Mario game overall. We'll see how it holds up. I've actually probably had a lot of Mario opinion changes this month that I'm excited to find out what my true favorite Mario game is. There is a hat power up uh, Xerox for the um, for the propeller hat in this game, but sometimes they also have a propeller box. So I don't know. Super Mario Horse Adventure. My God.
You know, the Super Mario series is kind of like pornography. If you play it for the story, you're already in it for the wrong reason. Really makes you think. Anyways, thanks for uh, inhaling your carrots, Mighty Taco. Uh, have you ever checked out Kind Words on Steam? No, but I do know of it. I've heard of it. Can I get that on a t-shirt? <laughs> put, put my name below it. Give me 5% royalties. Print them, print them yourself. I'll add that to my Streamlabs shirt store. I really want to add more stuff to my uh, shirt store, like my merch store in general, but I don't know what the heck I wanted to sell. I already put up the... Maybe a TTC hat or something would be nice. I like those. Hey, see here? Hey, look. The propeller hat. I told you. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I almost died. Yeah. This Koopaling has learned from Bowser. Launch your fire magic from afar. Are you playing Mario? Right in front of my salad? Anyways. We died. Can you believe it? Mushroom. Look at this game. It's interesting to see what parts of it made into Mario Maker 2. Yeah, absolutely. I, I find that the... Uh, Playing through the Mario suits has been really fun for just seeing how, what they chose to... Because Mario Maker 2 is supposed to be like a, you know, a grand celebration of all Mario, so... It's been interesting. Have you played any of the Batman Arkham games? I have! I played, uh... Not all three, because I think there's three, right? I've played two of them. I don't know which ones. How's one access the shirt store? I don't see it down below. Uh, SuperMC.store, I believe, it will get you there fast. But uh, it's also just on my... Is it not a panel? You call me a content creator. I can't even get my, my, my medias right. Maybe somebody can check supermc.store to see if it's a valid. Oh, that's right. I actually used to have it as a panel, but then I really wanted to remove it because it doesn't look good on dark Twitch because there's no dark mode option for it. So it's just this huge white box. That works. Arkham games are dope. Yeah, no, I really enjoyed the Batman games, uh, the Arkham uh, games. And I played Asylum and City. Is that the two? I played the one where, at the end, Joker and Harley Quinn are there. And the, the battle's really weird. Oh, I can't remember. Asylum. You know, I, I enjoyed them. I really enjoyed them. Good games. I also really enjoyed Batman as a general thing, so. There's City Asylum at night. Then I think I played City and Asylum, but I don't think I played Night. <laughs> Whoa! It's a chain song. I, I didn't know what the attack pattern was here. Doggy, you're my favorite customer. Oh, 
Was that world five or world six? I think it was world five, right? I'm not moving that fast. That was world five. Okay. Ah, what a story. I really miss my my one alert, which was the uh, the no, it's not true, the the room songified or whatever it was. Morton, Morton Koopa. What? What? Time to take down the aggro crag. In the aggro crag, contestants will have to climb to the top of the aggro crag, avoiding. Deadly traps. If you hit any of the buttons along the way, they will initiate traps for players who are lower on the aggro crag. If you make it all the way to the top of the aggro crag and hit the final button, you will receive what? Thank you. You will win a Nintendo 64 with three games. Why do you know all of that? I don't. I made it up. Not true. My writers wrote that. Not real. And for our contestants who don't manage to beat the aggro crag, we're not leaving you go home. Let you go home empty handed. You will win this. It's the Lego City Escape from Arkham Asylum set. There's no Batman, it's just an asylum. All right, kids, are you ready? Three, two, one. Guts. Dude, I I I love Nintendo Power, old Nintendo Power, and I and I, and I loved uh, Nickelodeon games and sports for kids. That was a a cool channel I never got to watch because it was only on satellite, and we were cable plebeians, you know. What's up, Jay the Operator? I am doing fantastic. We're, we're talking about Nickelodeon. Oofy. Professional review of Nickelodeon Gas. Well, I'm going to call it Nickelodeon Games and Sports. Because uh, I hate the name Gas. That's a gas. Um, I really enjoyed it. There were a lot of cool stuff because it was mostly the the channel where you could watch Guts and Legends of the Hidden Temple on repeat until you're tired and you fall asleep. The kids from Germany always dominated. I don't have memory of that. All I remember about old Nickelodeon game shows like uh, Double Dare and the and the like was I, I have deep memories of uh, the mouthpieces that they made the kids wear for the protection. So every kid is like, I wonder if I can replicate that. Is there anything on my desk I could use that almost looks like it? I remember those mouthpieces well. I always thought they were really dumb. Noggin and Teen Nick. I don't remember Noggin. Like, I, it's a faint memory. Gak Revival. All right, shall we go for underground or pipes? I'm gonna go pipes. Pipes. Hermione's already figured that one out too. Basilisk. How's a basilisk moving around the castle? Hermione's figured that one out too. Pipes? It's in the pipes. Come on, Ron! Let's go! Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. That's what Harry Potter sounds like. Harry Potter sounds a little bit more emotional. Honestly. That sounds like Gordon Ramsay. Can somebody let me know? If Gordon Ramsay and uh, 
Daniel Radcliffe are from the same part of the UK. I don't think they are, but something in my brain says they're close. Pan, hot, just a bit of oil. What's the lamb sauce? There it is. Bread is nice, even coat of oil. Right on the scallops, beautiful. Take the egg, crack it into a bowl. Fifteen minutes on the burner. Nice and hot. Delicious. Let's have a taste. Season it. Mm. Ramsey was in Scotland. Radcliffe was in London. Platform nine three kernels. That's in London. Oh no, it's the the leaky cauldron that's in London. Leaky cauldron. The Secret World of Alec Mack. I remember not liking that one. But maybe I was too young for it at the time. Of course he... Okay, okay, got, I gotcha. Gotcha. Dude, I can safely say I've not had a risotto in a long time, but I'd like to try one. A Thousand Deeds for Eddie McDowell. Oh, now that is a show I remember because that's the show where the boy turned into a dog because he was a bad kid. And so he has to do a thousand good deeds as a dog to become a boy again. It's like my name is Earl, but for children. AK Glenn. <laughs> Thank you so much for 10 gift subs. I appreciate you, buddy. I really hope you and the kids are doing well. And I've been keeping up with you on Twitter. Got to make sure my, my good buddy is doing all right. Hey there, good buddy. <laughs> and a resub. Wowie. Wowie zowie. And also, you want me to hydrate. You got it. Uh, maybe. This water bottle is the strongest thing on planet Earth. Appreciate you. I see some people got some gifts, though, so I hope people enjoy them. Uh. Take a sip from your official Slime Time Live canteen. Uh, I always wanted to go on Slime Time Live. Does anybody remember Slime Time Live? It was the show that was on right after school. Dang. That right from Nickelodeon Studios in beautiful Orlando, Florida. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, peoples. Appreciate you. Thank you again, Glenn, by the way. I'm, uh... I'm always thinking about what my next big thing I'd like to do in collaboration with the Yeti would be. If they ever have me. <laughs> if they want me, I'm always about hanging out and working with them. Always. Now that the, all the Kickstarter and uh, documentary stuff is starting to come to a close, I'm like, okay, that was cool, but <laughs> what, do we, what do we do now? <laughs> I, I'm a... Uh, what's it called? Cha chaotic neutral when it comes to <laughs> merchandising products. <laughs> We had an awesome t-shirt idea earlier. Okay, actually, Glenn, I don't know if you were here for it, but I'm gonna, I know you are here earlier and then now, so, but I don't know if you were here before. Let me pitch this one. Um, all right, Glenn, we need a shirt that says, Mario is like porn. If you're in it for the story, you're, it's already too late. Do you think we can sell that one? 
<laughs> Do the Yeti guidelines per per permit the word porn? <laughs> Not safe for bodies. <laughs> don't worry, I don't actually want that on a shirt. I, I wouldn't buy that. <laughs> Oh, I got Nickelodeon Magazine for a bit, but I, I always remember Nickelodeon Magazine. I never got Nickelodeon Magazine because I prioritized Nintendo Power. And my parents only let me have one magazine subscription at a time. And there was one year I did Nickelodeon, and I like regretted it so deeply. I was like, give me back uh, Nintendo Power. See you later, Glenn. Thank you again for the subs and hanging out. That's incredibly on brand. Hey, you know. EGM, Electronic Gaming Monthly. I remember getting that a couple times being like, this is not as good as Nintendo Power. Because I, of course, was a Nintendo lad. All right, that's what we like to see, a fire flower. Uh-oh. Maybe it's to the upper right of it. Penguin, penguin suit. There wouldn't be two right side by side, would there? Top left, top left. All right. Top right, top right. Uh-oh, Bowser Jr. Let's go. Oh. My triangle. Triangle, it's true. Triangles in chat for Abra. Dude, I'm, why am I doing so good? Did you partake in tips and tricks? Only on occasion. I felt dirty if I did it too often. Man, I'm rocking this right now, by the way. Has anybody noticed? Oh, that's perfect! <laughs> Touchdown! <laughs> Thank you, Abra, for the resub. Tips and tricks. You ever, you ever get Hardcore Gamer Magazine? I have one, 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 exactly one issue of that that I showed off on stream during the, uh, the subathon. Because I got it because it was the Wii cover issue and I thought it was beautiful as a kid. I was like, this is beautiful. Look at this magazine. The Wii's right here on the cover. Can't believe I didn't die through all that. I really should have. Pencil puzzles. Oh. You're making me want to get a bunch of old magazines on eBay, which is not something anybody should ever do. Like, do you want really heavy objects that you have to move for the rest of your life? Sorry if I randomized with that stream. Yeah, that one. Highlights was a fun puzzle one. I have I have mine nearby. Actually it's over there in the in the bag. See that bag right there? It's over there. I bought the highlights puzzle book for stream. We drew uh snoring Steve or something. Forgot his name already. That highlights puzzle book is ripe for naming. It's true, 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 you, Jackson. Oh, look at that. That was a, a, a really good move. Uh oh. <sighs> no, it's in the way. Got it. I'm living in quarantine in my childhood bedroom and has a Super Mario Bros. Weep spot poster. Hey, you know, that's good. What would we call a compilation of light bulb streams? What? What would call a compilation of light bulb streams? A bright idea? I would, uh, a bulb broadcast? Um, 
highlights. Thank you for your 500 bits, Hypercult. Hypercult, do you have an amiibo you'd like your name on now that you've admit, said that? Everybody should look forward to Hypercult's uh, highlight reel he's working on for me of the Ocarina of Time randomizer. What's left? Uh, check the document. Is, I assume backseeing is frowned upon on here. I, uh, I mean, kind of, but also, I don't know how much you could backseed about this game. I'm purposefully not doing warps or secret exits. I'm trying to play it kind of boring and not really get all the stuff. Press jump now. Oh, wow, you, you did it. You found the, the fire flower, well done. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not to take the cannon warps. How do I check the document? It was posted above you. It's in the Every Mario in May one. MC, you gotta grab the flag to win. I forgot you can... Can I operate it off this? Oh, wow. Look at that technology. Whoa. Because I know too much about this game. Well, we're not trying to do anything special. We're just kind of enjoying the, the thing. This level's a joke if you use the mini mushroom. I'll keep that in mind if I, I get a, another go at it. MC is playing just fine while simultaneously reminiscing about televised green slime. That's true. I claim, I claim DDD. You did, and I did not put your name on there. I got you, Hypercole. Okay, give me another one, though. I got distracted. DDD. There, there's your DDD one. And I have your next one ready to go. I knew somebody had claimed DDD, but I didn't know who. DWA Grant, I think, still has a, a card sitting around here that's not on anybody. <laughs> so I left it free reign. Actually, no, I put it up. It's right here. You do. You do, uh, CDOA Grant. If you told me which one that you wanted on that one, I don't remember it. Also, I didn't know you were here. Hello. How are you? I actually did I just hang it up with on, not on an amiibo. It's this green card right here. <laughs> I'm working while playing WoW. Classic or uh, was it Rise of Azeroth now or Battle for Azeroth? I don't even know what the current expansion is. Rise of the Skywalker. Battle for Azeroth. There we go. Thank you. Appreciate you informing me. Yoshi Smash variant. But I wonder if I can write it while playing. Yoshi Smash. Got you, Hypercole. Come on, swoops. Uh oh, I got zapped. That man is very powerful. Of course, there's a me gunner amiibo. That's fine. Aha. Oh. Currently triple wielding streams. Can you even hear my voice through the other streams? Maybe I should be louder for you. Hello, Ink Stains. Hello. <laughs> Hello there. I stopped watching Clone Wars again. I'll never finish that series because I just don't play it for more than five seconds at a time. Oh dear, I've gone cross-eyed. You know, I thought this level would have a lot more to it, but uh... What? 
Uh oh. Yeah, I hear Clone Wars gets really good. I'm just also very bad about watching anything for fun. Then I watched Back to the Future for probably the 10th time in my life. <laughs> Bye, Toad. Later. Bup, 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 bup. Takes a lot of time to watch a TV show. See, okay, so I have a, I have a memory that I'd like to share with you all. Um, b back in the day, one of my most fond memories I have of uh, a summer, a summer break that I had. Um, I think it might have been summer of 2009, before the first Zelda-thon. Um, me and my mom had moved not too dis recently from then, but I, I was kind of I was having a rough time in life. But I had a, a really enjoyable summer. Um, and what I remember about it is I watched the entirety of Dragon Ball Z on a. I didn't have multiple monitors. I had two monitors, but like the second monitor was an ancient big boy uh, monitor. You know, the the, the big CRT gray, gr gray monster ones. Uh, and I put Dragon Ball Z on up there and I pretty much never stopped it unless I like left the room to use the restroom or go get food. So I just constantly have Dragon Ball Z going and I watched the entire, uh, the entire show. I watched the entire show that summer and like I have very fond memories of watching all Dragon Ball Z. All the filler too, by the way. Um... And it was just a really fun time. That summer was really memorable. And that was right before Zelda-thon became a thing. I was young and I was still like, I think at that point I was not really making like Let's Plays or anything, but I was kind of making videos with friends, like just like skit videos and stuff. It was a really weird time in my life, honestly. And that summer of Dragon Ball Z is very memorable to me. And I have warm memories of it. And I bring that up because you're talking about, you know, it's really hard to watch a show in its entirety. I wish life could be as simple as it was back then, you know, because it, it, it'd be really nice if I was just a, a dorky kid again and I could just have a summer where I watch the entirety of like Naruto or some, some other anime that's absurdly long, you know? Was it, just, uh, was it just Z or all of Dragon Ball? It was all of Z, so it didn't take too long, but you know. Don't we all y'all wish that? Part of it's fine time now we're big lads. Exactly. And I, I wish I could truly like front load like a bunch of stuff. Like if I just like did work for four days straight, I could have like you know, three day weekends or whatever, but that just doesn't work in the, in the business. And there's other responsibilities, you know, I'm married now too. So I gotta make sure I'm not only providing for myself, but providing for others. Is this boss battle easy? Another downside of self of important. True. <laughs> Alright, buddy. I need to take a quick break. Quick restroom break. So I'll be back in. Uh, actually, let me, let me make sure this is the actual end of the level. Because sometimes it'll do the, the psych out. Watch all of One Piece Arctic. <laughs> I don't think I want that. Oh, it looks like we have another level, but that's fine. What music should I put on while I'm gone? Ooh, Punch-Out would be nice. Final Fantasy VII Battle. Hmm. What? Old Insane in the Rain. Old Insane in the Rain. Let me see if I can find Old Insane in the Rain music. I'm only going to be gone like 90 seconds. Year 6, Year 5, Year 4, Year 2 remastered, Year 1 remastered. <laughs> Carlos, oh no. I'll be right back in just a second, everybody. Please enjoy two, 2 minutes and 26 seconds of Click Clock Wood from Carlos's first year.
How about Minecraft Piano Medley? <laughs> I'm just kidding. The Minecraft Piano Medley is good. I mean, and, but, but look at this boy now. Look, look, at, look what he do now. He's it's like, hey. Get, what the heck? That piano grew into, into a whole funk. By the way, it's 8-Bit Drummer on uh, drums. Wowee. All right, but, but, but enough indulging. Enough indulging, uh, Mr. Nini. Is there Sab, I Sab Irene? Are you on this this Spotify thing? You are Sab Irene. Beneath the mask. I don't follow you. What the heck's wrong with me? Well, now I do. So, Adventures Through Time, Beneath the Mask, Brink of Time. Is that a Chrono Trigger song? I skipped ahead. Jackson's on, on Spotify. Jackson Parodi. There he is. Oh my God. I don't follow him either. Ram Ranch emotional cover. <gasps> it's here. I found it. It's here. It's, it's on, it's on Spotify. Eighteen naked cowboys in the showers. At I'm good. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Is that the only song? Okay, there, there's some other ones in here. Wait, no, that's all it shows. It says falling down from Undertale. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. There, there's some other Jackson stuff in here. All right, cool. Anyways, back back to playing the video game. What? Reported. No others. I didn't upload those. Oh, really? We'll have to track them down. From Undertale. I know just the man to take care of our Undertale music request. Professional review of weird Spotify things. I don't know what that means. Can you define define what I'm to, what I'm reviewing? Spotify is a great service because there's a lot of weird stuff on there. Um, one of my greatest memories of weird Spotify things is uh, the Zeldathon team made a nice playlist of all, all songs that we enjoy, uh, which includes like a lot of different you know genres and types. And it was super nice because it, it, it's a, a truly representative of everything people like, and you know. Um, but naturally, some people uh, trolled the playlist, like there's just ASMR noises and so I was on my car trip and I was on a particularly nasty section of highway where I couldn't like take my eyes off the road I couldn't even use voice commands really because my car wasn't getting like the, I'd have to fix it on my phone it wasn't working right and I was really upset and I couldn't and all, all I had to do is sit there and listen to the ASMR noises because I could not skip track because also my phone wasn't like showing me like the quick interfaces to tap the button it was a whole, whole rigmarole. So I decided to sit there and just listen to ASMR noises that somebody put on the playlist. Well, and by the way, you know what I, I don't want to listen to when I'm driving through a particularly nasty section of road? ASMR noises, because it takes my anxiety of an already frustrating piece of driving and adds in frustrating noises that I do not want to hear. Have you ever been to Myrtle Beach for the Runaway Guys Coliseum last year? I mean, I was running the event. So I guess uh, my review of weird ASMR noises on Spotify is a one out of 10. It may be for you, but it ain't for me. I've also told this story before. This is not a Spotify story, but it is a good car audio story. Um, 
I was driving back from IHOP after a late night of Zelda fawning uh, with my good friend Junie. I believe Smoop was in the car and maybe Eric or Dark? I don't know. One, one, one of the other goons. And uh, it was like, all right, so can we uh, listen to some music? And I'm like, oh, I got a good, I got, I got a really good one. And I turn on my radio knowing full well that it's set to an FM radio station that doesn't exist. And my volume was like really up. It was like, all right, guys, here's a good one. And I hit the button and instantly it was <laughs> and it, it, it was a good, good, good chuckle for everybody. What do I have to do here? What is this? Oh, I have to knock him in. I have my radio set to AM so I can listen to static. I love that FM and AM radio static is different. It makes me really happy. What? Well, Optimus Gaming, uh, one thing I got to say is uh, please don't randomly show up at, at the place where someone's doing a private event. That's a big thing. We didn't really leave the house, so... <laughs> I don't know how much, unless you went to one grocery store that we went for, for food. You probably could have probably not seen it. Myrtle Beach is a big area. Oh. oh. Who's this one? Ludwig Vaughn Koopa? This is Ludwig Vaughn? What? What? Ludwig? It is, yes. A bit of Ludwig Vaughn. I thought, uh, when you said that, for some reason, my brain started instantly going into Mambo number five. A little bit of Ludwig. On the side. Little bit of Iggy. All right. Somebody else can make that cover. I'm, I'm not here for it. Whoa, I almost died, but I'm alive. I'm still alive. Dude, I can speed on this stage. This is what I'm about. What the hecky? Holy smokes. At number five. Anyways, World Seven Two. We're rolling through this game right now. MC, I applaud you for. I'd be panicking and try to flip out doing platform normally, but all the rotating stuffs and enemies. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I'm pretty good at platformers when they're. One, easy and also well made. Lost Levels, that's an example of a hard one that, it's well made, but uh, dated in mechanics. I, I shared this on Discord. Uh, if anybody didn't see, I uh, the longest run of every Mario is still Lost Levels at seven hours. Yesterday, I finished Mario, Ga or uh, Monday, I finished Mario Galaxy uh, with, and it took me six and a half hours, which is still, like 40 minutes slower than how long it took me to beat Lost Levels, which is insane that a game from, what, was that 87? 87, like, beat, beat uh, took me out.
Dark slow on the game is past a warp in this world. Did I have the 8-bit Brigadier on? Brigadier. Doesn't seem like he's on Spotify. Hate to see it. Dan. Fuzzies. For Mario Maker 2, you're doing online levels on all the opening screen levels. I'm doing the story mode. The one that gives you credits when you beat it. Oh, I didn't know he would come at me like that. What the heck? I feel bamboozled. I feel bamboozled. Yeah, story mode, Rihanna. That's why I'm not doing Mario Maker 1, is there's no story mode that leads to a credits. Mario Maker 1 does not have a completable, like, objective, really. I mean, it has a completable objective where I can, like, get all the unlocks, but most of that isn't, like, gameplay. It's spamming blocks. I'm dead. I really tried to get that jump, but didn't go my way. What are your thoughts on Super Mario Maker 2 incentive of, of sorts to do player creator levels? No, thank you. <laughs> I really did, wouldn't want to do Mario Maker 2 if it didn't have a, a story mode. I'll save the Mario Maker 2 levels for the non every Mario May challenge. <laughs> this level is kind of hard. Now it's easy. Hey, look at me! I'm mini me! What's this? I can use the mini mushroom. Big boy, big lad. I really am scared of the fuzzies. I don't like their faces. They they scare me. I'm frightened. Uh-oh. Did you end up playing any more Pokemon? I played a little bit more Pokemon past the first gym. I uh, started clearing the next route, but I uh, got distracted last night. We played um, BGM quiz last night, me and some friends, which was nice. No, don't go back! <laughs> Can I exit levels in this game? you love to see it. Which Pokemon game? Uh, sh it's a good time. It's a good time. Hello, can, can, can this thing go a little bit faster? Can, 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 can I get like a, a plus 10 to speed on this thing?
you guys don't mind, I'm gonna take a quick nap. I've been past the second gym now, but I also overloaded super hard in the wild area by accident. I believe the second leader is uh, the water type gym leader, um, which uh, I'm kind of scared of because I have a fire type and my electric type kind of sucks. What else is good against fire type? Is ice good against fire? I really need to hit that. Ah. Huh. Ice is not good against fire. No. Okay, apparently. Okay, I'm sorry. Apparently not. Apparently it's the opposite. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't poker. Actually, I do poker. I don't poker man. Historically, earth and wind do well with fire. Except on my YouTube, uh, Latin Autor, they, 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 they destroyed me when I last played Earth, Wind, and Fire. I played for like 10 seconds, not even. Latin Autor had my, my phone number on speed dial. I'm not allowed to play Earth, Wind, and Fire on stream anymore. Actually, I was technically never allowed. That's the power of music licensing. Fire flower. Rad, dude. That's rad, dude. I don't like the way he says oh. What is this? What, what the? What the heck is this? Why is he got Yoshi flutters, dude? Luigi Von Koopa. Luigi wig. Luigi wearing a wig. I've been really frustrated lately. I need to get uh, some light uh, help with our lawn here at the home. We have a bunch of sticks that are falling and like, like a bunch of stuff that we could use an extra hand with. So I've been trying to like, you know, find a nice company that might be able to give us a hand. Um, I will not. Um, and I finally found a company that was like willing to respond to us as works in the area. Uh, but you know, they're like, Hey, here's our, here's how much our normal mowing services and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, this, these are all very fair prices. Uh, except they had a thing called their cleanup service and they're like, it costs $1,500 for your property. And I'm like, we don't need that much landscaping. Like we really don't <laughs> like we need a little bit of trimming done. I, I, I don't think it's $1,500. <laughs> and I said, can you re-examine that cost? And they're like, no. <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm really trying to work with your company, but if you're quoting me $1,500 to do a little bit of trim work, <laughs> like I, I, I can go buy a dang pair of clippers and go do it myself, dang shoot. And I would, for, for if my only other option was $1,500. So I, I, I don't know, you know? Oh. I don't know which door I should go through. Bottom left speaks to me. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Thank you. 
I don't like the way this guy moves. Ah, oh, first try. <sighs> Bet this guy's blocking the real door. Oh no, he's got the point. All right, that wasn't too bad of a stage. Oh, not the Raven. The Gways, they're back. Whose one try is the emote is that? Jam Eviler. Never heard of them. Alright, looks like we have to do Battle Lakitu now. I'm ready for World 8 at this point. I'm excited to do World 8. I have some fond memories of the Bowser Castle in this, like, the final level. The Bowser fight. This game has a really cool uh, mechanic, I believe. If I'm remembering right, I might be wrong. I might be thinking of 3D World. Or Mario. Mar New Super Mario Brothers U. I had to have a dang rubric to figure out what game I'm playing. How much do you know about Live Aid, the famous uh, fundraising event? I know a little bit about Live Aid. Um, my uh, aunt used to go to it all the time. She was a big uh, fan of... I don't remember the name. There, 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 there's one artist that she used to go to and, and see him every time. It's interesting history. Yeah, no, Live Aid has always been a cool event and I've, I've seen some recordings of Live Aid, but no, I don't know. I don't know probably enough history. Like you, you, you probably know Jackson. Be interesting, especially if there's like a good documentary. I think I need to go in the, the, the one pipe that's not moving. Queen was there. The original. Oh, you're talking about the original one? 1985. Wasn't there other Live Aids, or am I thinking of a different event altogether? Have there been further Live Aids since then? I my brain is saying my aunt went to a, a bunch of things called Live Aid. It might have been a different one. There have been spinoffs. That very well might be the one I'm thinking of then. Mellencamp. John Mellencamp. My my aunt loved her. Or him. <laughs> Sorry. Br brain's working overtime right now on this stage. Has there, has there only been one Live Aid? Because I've okay, because I've seen the the the, the Live Aid that, that we're t talking about, then the one with Queen and everything. Um, obviously, the, the the Queen performance is the, the standout. But I, I think I've seen some other ones from there, but I don't remember. You might find interesting as a piece of fundraising history. Yeah, I'd be interested in uh, watching that or like finding out if like there's a, there's a good documentary on it, other than just watching it. But I don't know if that type of documentary exists. All right, well, you know what? Maybe we won't go to the pipe. I did. All right, so what's the point? Jesus! <laughs> that legitimately frightened me. What's, what's, the, what's the thing with John Mellencamp then? Hold on, I gotta find out. John Mellencamp 
Live aid? No, it's something aid. Farm aid! An annual benefit concert held for American farmers. Farm aid. Farm aid. I've heard about that a lot because again, my my aunt was really into it. At home with Farm Aid, April 11th, 2020. <laughs> they couldn't do it this year. Last year they had Willie Nelson, Neil Young, John Mellencamp, Dave Matthews, Tim Reynolds. Huh. Let me go to the official website for Farm Aid. Oh, it's all nice. Please donate. I cannot right now, but thank you, sir. There's Willie Nelson. There he is. He's right there. And that's how you know this is the Farm Aid. Huh. All neat. Crime Aid. Crime reduces innocence, makes everyone angry, I declare. <laughs> Have I played Pound Day Pawn, otherwise known as Tetris Attack? I've played Pokemon Puzzle League, which is the same game, but I heard it did come out today for uh, the Switch Online. I know it's because I told my husband about it, who I knew would be happy about it. And he has been, apparently, so. Right Aid. <laughs> Rest. Wait, is Right Aid dead? Is Right Aid dead? Nobody told me Rite Aid died. This this might be the, the worst news I've had all day. Where is CVS? Is CVS okay? I know CVS is okay. Rite Aid's been dead for a while. Walgreens bought them. I didn't know Rite Aid was sick. I thought if anybody could survive, it'd be Rite Aid. They have all the medicine. This is This is terrible news, everybody. I'm gonna have to cancel stream for the next week. Get ready for every Mario in the, the first five days of June. You know, these cloud guys really blow. Vape Lord's Lair? <laughs> Night Sora's house. <laughs> Rite Aid has apparently has a new logo. That's awful! That's the worst logo I've ever seen. Put it back. Walgreens only bought half of Rite Aid. <laughs> Did they buy the right or the aid part? I'm looking forward to the spinoff. Walgreens Aid. I finished the request and it's up on the Buru. Awesome, Platinum Pikachu. I will I will take a look at it at the end of stream. Thank you to artists who, uh, and, and you know, you don't have to be an artist. You, everyone's an artist, if they believe, for putting stuff up on the Buru. I've been enjoying having those. One day they will respond to my request for, can we please fix the counter thing? Live Aid held a famous reunion of Blood Zeppelin. Not very well received. Really? That's sad. You know, I read a lot about last night. Was it last night? Maybe two nights ago. I had a, I had a long session reading about Leonard Skinner. I wanted to know more about their band, and I sure did. Oh my God. Someone seems to be overcompensating for someone and thing in this castle. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, so uh, in the castle, I want to build a. Can we have giant? Never mind. I'm, you know what? I'm just not even going to. It's it's not going to end well for my for my clips my clips page. I'm not doing it today. Do it, MC. No. You know you want to. No. Also. Rip me, apparently. What the heck? Just this once. I want to. I, I want to live. Big man. Oh Jesus! You really got me. Can I have a power up? 
Ha. Huh? Without using Google, what does CVS stand for? Consumer very stupid. No, what, what does it stand for? <laughs> Constantly violent supervisors. <laughs> Child vacation services. <laughs> Is there a list of games so far? Yeah, somebody could post uh, every Mario doc in chat. Uh, our good friend Cobot will post it. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta beat Ludwig on. Ludwig. Uh, he really got me on the first one, didn't he? Wow, Mario really missed. Crummy value snacks. Corporation, very sick. Carlos vibin saxophone. Carefully vile septic. I don't like that one. Canada's very sexy. <laughs> Sorry, I thought about a very... <laughs> I thought about a sexy maple leaf. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but... <laughs> oh... Oh no. Contra bassoon violin. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still thinking about the maple leaf. Still thinking about the maple leaf. I don't even know how a maple leaf could be sexy, but I wanna know. Oh, I wanna know. Who will stop the rain? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad somebody's thinking about drawing it because I can't imagine it with my pea-sized single single planet brain. I need the galaxy brains of the nation to rise up. You know, what? I, don't, I don't I don't stand for this big man. Yeah. Well, Dragonite wants me to hydrate. Maple Chan. <laughs> I have to drink. I have to hydrate. Hey, what's that? Hey, look at that. What's that? Uh, uh. <laughs> Exit pipe. Oh, I gotta beat that dungeon. Man. Thank you everybody for stopping by tonight and hanging out with me, by the way. I appreciate you all. I've had a very good month so far. Obviously, every Mario and May has not yet reached its conclusion, but I've had a very fun time so far. And also, I've been very thankful for everybody giving a... Love and support both by watching and by giving bits and subs and all the goodies, you know. Like rank the leaf power-ups in Mario in order of sexiness. What the heck? All I can remember is the super leaf. And the professional reviews are a number. I, I give the super leaf a six out of ten. I am not typing in what Rihanna just said. Maybe hockey player pinups. I could see that. But the other one, absolutely not. I'm not going to say that with my words. People on YouTube watching this afterwards, you'll never know what Rihanna just said. And I prefer to stay that way. That's a Twitch exclusive. That one's staying right here on Twitch. Hey, you need to hang sometime, so yeah. Less. Cough. Why are you coughing, Vaseline, sir? It is I, Vaseline, sir. What? 
Anyways. What does CVS stand for? <laughs> does anyone want to tell me? Vaseline Sir, aka Lord Lube. Lubert from iCarly. I never understood why they named a man Lubert. Children's show. I might be saying, because it's an actual name, MC. No. You can, so you, can, you don't have to call something Lubert. That was a, that was a creative choice. I don't like this. Consumer value store. Really? I got consumer right. Uh, it's consumer very stupid, not consumer value store in my head. Now this level sucks. I can't go fast. Cool. Mario didn't do the, the run animation. I got value right. Wow, together we almost had one whole correct CVS name. None of those are... Cool variety stream. Are you talking about the Jiggy 11 Super Show? Gotta go make sure you're there for Stuff Fest 3, whenever that's gonna be. Stuff Fest. I hope Jiggy's been enjoying his streams, even though he can't go down to the box. What does Walgreens stand for? <laughs> I don't, I don't have a joke. I I need to make a bold decision right here. Okay, it's fine. Yes. Coin. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I I keep feeling validated in that emote now. Who needs bucks when you could have caps lock? Jiggy is very proud to tell me always that he does not use caps lock. He just holds down shift, his pinky finger is buff. If you ever looked at Jiggy's pinky finger, it's got a little bicep right here, you know, j just below the knuckle from holding down shift at all hours of the day. <laughs> Sticky keys are permanently stuck. I really want to watch a video of someone pouring like WD-40 all over a keyboard. My desires are <laughs> unconventional. <laughs> pouring? <laughs> yeah. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. I would love to have a one up right about now. That did it. Lord Lube. <laughs> My secret identity has finally been revealed. Vaseline, sir. I'm gonna shut up now. I don't. I don't deserve my microphone. Oh yeah, Mario time. Hi everybody. <laughs> I'm glad Chad's having a great time tonight. Nice jump. Thank you. Jump. Ooh.
This is my kind of stage right here. It's got a cool, cool gimmick. And I can speed run it. Look at this. Fantastic. Can't speed run that. Gotta, gotta wait a second. Can't speed run this. You gotta wait a second. Hey, MC, what camera do you use for these streams? I've been looking into getting a better camera. I cannot tell you what model camera this is because I do not know. Actually, it's banned from the world. Uh, it's actually an illegal camera. Nope. I just don't know the name of it. Um, it's a Sony Handycam. It's a very high level Sony Handycam. The reason I'm using this and, and I don't use it for other things is because this one uh, broke. It doesn't charge the batteries anymore, so it has to be plugged in at all times. Plus, uh, it doesn't have a good uh, auto stabilizer, so it shakes if it's moved. That's why if I go, you can see it shake vi violently if I like tap too hard on my desk. But it is a Sony Handycam and a, a nice one at that. Uh, this one is just an HD. This one is just an HD one, like a 1080p one. And I recommend it. The Sony Handycams are always good, but I don't know if, like, a lot of people recommend DSLRs for really nice-looking cameras for streams, and I don't know nothing about that. I'm not a DSLR guy. I have a DSLR, but I don't know comparatively to other people. Like, when people ask what my F-stop is, I just say, F-stop. What's your exposure triangle settings? Please do not expose your triangle. Um, do you? By the way, hey, uh, Optimus Gaming, if you want to talk to me, you can always just say MC, and if you want to say gamer, you can just remove an M and you're good to go. Just, just to help your typing out, you, you, you can save some precious keystrokes. Um, do I like to read? I do like to read sometimes. Backrat! Packrat, congratulations. I hope your uh, big stream with Honey went well. Uh, I, I didn't get to catch m much of it, and uh, but I, I hope you had fun with that. I hope you and Honey both did well. I didn't hear the results of how, how well you did, but I hope it went well. Hi, everybody. Thank you very much, Packrat. Thank you for the raid. We're doing some Mario today and all month. <laughs> Doing a little thing called Every Mario in May, where I beat all the Mario platformers. Platformers, not the RPGs. In a, in a month. Uh, it's not that hard of a challenge, but it's a very fun one. It's very good, 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 good uh, use of my time. Went excellent. Beard is now a clown chin. <laughs> what? <laughs> did, did, did you have to shave? Did you have to shave for a, for a goal? I'm here just long enough to find the sunshine bot that I totally missed. Uh, Wolf fan, if you want to watch the Sunshine VOD, I have the uh, archive channel. Somebody might be able to do exclamation point archive in the chat. I think that has a command for it. Oh, beard die. Oh, e even better. His beard got treated with some o overtone die. Now that is fun. That is very fun. Well, thank you again for the raid, Packrat, and I hope anybody who comes over and here, feel free to say hi. I'm having a good time tonight, just trying to stay sane inside. Here you go. Hold on. Hold on. I got, I got to see this. I got to see the beard. This might have showed up on my timeline, but I might have missed it. <laughs> wow, you really do got some colors going on. <laughs> it looks... It... <laughs> It looks like it's starting to catch on fire, but the, there's a little bit of blue right here. <laughs> a, a, a little splash of aqua. All that, and it wasn't even the... Okay. 
What do you think about a crossover because of reason? Mario's a cameo in Hyrule or the other way around. I kind of like my Mario and Zelda to be separate except for uh, things like Mario Kart. You can find beard hairs in my desk. They're not brown. <laughs> I mean, so, so I, I used to always do the blue hair dye. I'd like to do it again. I just haven't had the time. Flash supplies. Um, I used to, whenever I go to a hotel, I had to bring my own pillowcase. After the, the first hotel that I didn't know I should bring my own pillowcase for, I uh, turned an entire hotel pillowcase blue and I then got charged $50 for a new pillowcase. I was like, oh, cool. Good to know. A mushroom? What a kind fellow. $50 for a pillowcase? It's a, it's a weird day. It's a, 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 weird, a weird world we live in, you know? Rip Kamek. Oh, Kamek's fine. Remember I said we might be this before the four hour mark? Looks like three and a half is more than doable at this point. The last levels are tough though. Including the final castle has a lot of fun stuff and it's kind of longer. So we'll see. So we have one, two, three, four, and then the last one. Oh, this is a fun stage. Watch this. Ready? The blind fall. But you have this orb, orb of confusion. I just found conditioner dye. Works for a month strong, doesn't come off as rinsing. Yeah, that, that stuff is very useful, especially uh, if you use it in pair with existing uh, dyes. But it's also just good for people who don't want to die actively and like bleach and all that and that does help but conditioner die is uh oh man just, just kill them all dude chop them down And I'm really scared. If I hit that button, it releases all the bloopers. I think I'm not gonna release all the bloopers. Sorry, Jelly. Killed all no name. Mario <sighs> time. You don't even have a name tag. You don't have a name tag. Just lay down. Indeed, we do have 64 lives. Stop getting one-ups now. I can't stop at this point, Hyper Joe. At this point, I, there, there's nothing in this world that'll stop me from getting more one-ups. Except losing them. This stage, I remember being annoying. I have to micromanage. Because you don't want these bob bombs on your on your bridge here.
Yeah, why, why, why do I want to stop getting lives at 64 when I have only five more to go? So close, everybody. We're so close to the, the funny meme number. I hate that man. Get out of here. Uh, I'm, I, you know, I'll, I'll chill. I'll chill a second. Uh, I might not be able to chill much more in seconds. Uh, go down. Go down. <laughs> All right. No, not not the guays. We've almost reached the end here. 69 is a naughty number, not a meme. A poor Kalos no dose. <laughs> It is both, I believe. <laughs> okay, we might not actually get there. <laughs> we still have two more levels. And uh, just to spoil the surprise a little bit, that, that level there is not the last level. Good job dodging those birds. Yeah, no, I was very scared. <laughs> I thought I was a dead man, a dead fella. But I'm still alive. I'm doing fantastic, and I'm still alive. In fact, you know the song from Portal. I mean, anybody ever heard that one before? No? It's a really good hit. You guys should, you should, yeah, you should hear it sometime. I'm back. Is that do something? Well, I hope something went well. When did memes become a thing? Memes became a thing a long time ago, way before the internet. That's a, that's a true story. It's only they've become popular because of the internet, because they're easily uh, distributable. What is this poor tail you speak of? Oh, oh, almost got my baby toe burnt. Gotta be very careful. My baby toe is very sensitive. Oh, Jesus, my baby toe. Uh, that was actually probably Mario's whole Achilles heel. Achilles heel. Good, good. Wow, I'm rich. That's a lotto. Memes have been around since the time of the Egyptians. <laughs> that doesn't even remember the hieroglyphics of damn Daniel. <laughs> Everybody's like, that's an old meme here in 2020. And it's like, no, no, it was an old meme last year and the year before and the year before that. It's been hundreds of years. Excited that Percy Jackson's getting a Disney Plus. I'm excited for everything until I watch it and then I get very sad. In some cases, Mandalorian. It's a go time. It's a go time. <laughs> Damn, it's Danielis. <laughs> That's not funny. It's really not. <laughs> Pretty dumb. Pretty dumb. The, that's the dumbest thing I've read all day. And, I, and I've read Sexy Canada.
Sexy Canada question mark. You had to be there, you know. <laughs> Has anybody been drawing the sexy maple leaf for me? Oh, that's cool. Where, where's the midpoint? I deserve the midpoint at this point. Did I already hit it? I don't think I did. Where is it? Does the Buru have content restrictions? Yes, it has to be able to be shown on Twitch. I don't have it written down yet though. Hey Montaro, remember how we talked about how we should really do that? Yeah, well we should really do that. I hope it's Mario Lemieux. Yeah, he plays hockey. I know that from knowing that. What's the point of getting that cool jump? It doesn't go anywhere. Nice. I jumped right into him. There's a. Aha! I speak Mario. Like I said, I have a minor in Mario. I'm a major in Zelda. Oh! He's upgrading to dads! He finally got the keys to the Hummer, dude! He's got his key the keys, man! Why can't I put out the fires with my ice? Be home by 11, son. And if I see a single scratch on her, Lord help you, Lord help me. You'll be grounded so long. The quarantine will be over. Put out fire with ice. I tried. Okay, apparently it does work. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, I, I, I'm ready for the game where Bowser Jr. is has become a full-grown Koopa. And Bowser's just a, a senior citizen. Mar Mario's, Mario's gone gray years ago. I'm not up for another battle against Bowser. No, Mario, you don't understand. It's not Bowser. It's Bowser Jr. Oh. Bowser Jr. finds a full-time job the game. The one brawl in the family comic. I don't remember that one. Hello, father. Big castle. Except for the game adaption brawl in family Christmas carol. Show. See, apparently everybody knows this one. I, I have all three of the uh, uh, brawl in the family books, but I don't remember that one by heart. It's been a while since I've read through them. That'd be a fun activity to do sometime. Bowser Koopa. Junior. Oh! This castle actually looks difficult. And by difficult, I mean harder than the others. So, 
medium. Mario and Bowser deciding the fate of the world over shuffleboard. I can't wait till Mario shuffleboard. That's the that's the next big hit uh, sports game tie-in, man. Nice shirt. I own the same one. Yeah, it's a shirt from Zelda. Fun. <laughs> this is uh, one from Zelda Fun Champions, I believe, because we got a shirt made for every one of the champions. Nice life. We did it! The life counter we did. Th thank you, Ryan, for pointing that out. We did it at long last. I'm so proud of us. Oh, by the way, Pinstripe Barbarian, thank you very much for the raid. I, I just caught that message before it scrolled off uh, chat. Thank you very much. Hope everybody was doing well. Came in from that. We're raising... Uh, we're not raising money for charity right now. I started talking about Zolothon. You got my brain in a, in a loop. We're playing Mario. I'm beating all of them. Fireflower, absolutely. Raising money for mortgage. Not wrong. <laughs> pretty pretty much when people are giving me bits, they are contributing to the old down payment. <laughs> I'm excited. Are you gonna play in the Splatfest? Uh, probably not. Depends on my time. This weekend, I kind of got a lot of streams to do that are not Pokemon or Mario. That are Mario. Would you support ketchup or mayo? Probably ketchup because it's more versatile. I go for true ending. Killed with fireballs. There we go, game beat. <sighs> that's it? No, that's not it, it's actually Kamek. What a ruse. And this actually leads to one of my favorite sections in the entire uh, Mario series. I love this section. This game has a lot of uh, things I feel kind of mediocre on, but this section of gameplay is really cool. Yes, Bowser is huge. Almost as big as Rosalina. Not quite as that big. That, that, that'd, be, that'd be insane. He had to use his fireballs to... Rip and tear. Uh oh. I'm gonna probably go through the bottom here. Uh oh. Um, okay. Situation. Oh, I didn't realize it would be one of those. Also, good boss theme. I mean, no surprise there. Nintendo knows how to make a good boss battle. Music. I'm dead. I didn't realize that the uh, the, the thing was going to go back so quick. Yeah. A little bit of an anti-climax, but you know what? That's fine. And I'm short one life. Use mini mushroom. No. Oh, 
Oh, he's doing the big, the, the big attack. You have tried and you have failed. Dang, I thought you got him that time. Man, it, it hits even better the second time, you know? This is my favorite game. Well, it's almost over. Gotta really watch out for those waves. No! I bonked! Did I beat the compare of level in World 7? I don't know. I don't know if I did that one. Pretty sure the third time little Bowser dies, so for the best. Yeah. This is this is like I said, probably, probably one of my more fair Bowser boss battles in the series, because it's not like a, a cakewalk, but it's also not super hard. Like there's like those jumps are a little difficult at the end. But. Roar. He's number one. He's dead. We did it. This time for real, right? Oh, no. Can't make fun. Our, our, our objective should be killing Kamek, I think, actually. Okay, well, actually, Kamek died right there. You know, Bowser in these games always... It, it, he's cool. But it always sucks that he's just boring villain. Like that, that's one reason. That's one reason why the RPG games are so beloved, because they make characters like Bowser. Okay. Uh. Um. Hello. Uh. Sir. <laughs> hello. Mc hello, McFly. Weird. Anybody home? I see something on your shirt. Oh, oh, oh. I 
making sure. Plan, I thought you had that. Me too. I had a plan of escape right there, but. Was that about a 3.30 clear time? Uh, I mean, it's very possible because all I have to do is beat Bowser. I still can do it. But, you know. All five fireballs. Wow. Especially if he does the jump early. The big jump, that is. Let's try again. Now, 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 this is the run now. Please hydrate. I, I will. I figured why not get to that one a little bit early. That phase one might actually be the run. I think that's time. I'll hit time. The game's over. We did it! No Super Mario Brothers! Woo! And I finished with 69 lives. What more can you ask for? <laughs> Mario completed the physical challenge. Dare. All right, we have a dare over to the green team. Double dare. Yay! <laughs> We'll take the physical challenge. <laughs> there you go. Not too bad of a game. Not too shabby. Oh, yeah. This end cutscene is kind of fun. I like this one. You know, I'm going to take my percentage now, though. Look, it's Luigi and the Toads. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen, by the way. Watch this. This is the saddest thing. Here you go, bro. Welcome to the air balloon. Please, come with me, the princess. Oh. And then they, they get in. Luigi says, All right, well, oh, oh. it was great having you. All right, thoughts. What a time to go. Ah. It's, and, and they leave without him. Oh. But it's okay. The toads are the bros. Oh, Mario. Oh, Mario, did I ever tell you about that secret world? That, 
that's what you have to tell me? Not even thank you? How about, how about I, you're super. Time to destroy Takashi Tezuka. Now he's just Taka he Taka high, uh. <laughs> you see Amano. I wonder if I can write the word man. That oh, says ma'am, not man. Ah. Uh, Ma. Me entering chat. Hey. Uh I'm trying to write a name. I can write hi. Hold on. Hi! Hi, Oka. June. Wait, wait. No, June. AK. No, Akura. <laughs> trying to write names. Oh. Okay, duh. Okay. Ken. Anybody here? Kaori Ken? All right, uh, pass. Higo, AKA Ishii. No, that one's not destroyable. This is the worst. All right, don't worry, I know what to do. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send Luigi into the, into the stratosphere. Good luck, brother. Kenny James, that's Bowser. And Charles Martinet, that's uh, that's uh, Mario. Or as he's now known, Carl S. M. Tinnett. Koji No. Koji Yes. <laughs> I'm having a fun time right now. Luigi got a coin. I'm so proud of him. Localization ma. <laughs> Localization mama. That's me. Localization mama. Doug. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this. I want to write Peck. No, P. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we must preserve a water. He will be the cu cutie producer. E cutie producer. E cutie. He's the E cutie. <laughs> All right, that was fun. Bowser Jr. commands a strict army. He's huge. Bowser dies. Please tell the next game. Absolutely not. Hold on, I need to allow this message in my chat. I had to make sure I permitted that one before someone else didn't allow it. <laughs> All right. No Super Mario Brothers Wii is complete. Let's take a look at the Buru. I hear there's at least one piece of art that we need to take a look at. Oh, it looks like there might be two. There is two. <laughs> I don't like this one. I gotta say, I don't like this one. Oh, that one's good though. All right, so from Yellow Daisy says, MC asked for it, a quick Drake meme. <laughs> Commissioning my musician friends to make beautiful covers of 
some of my favorite video game songs. Commissioning my music and friends to let make covers of meme songs. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about my face, my hair, glasses, and scarf being put on Drake, but you know what? <laughs> I'll take it. That's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you for that. And the other one we have in here is from Platinum Pikachu. And it needs to be scaled. Scale to screen. Wow, we have all sorts of things. Whoa! So wait, we, we, this is Blueberry with a, with, a, with a Mario hat on. That's very cute. I see Mario from Jersey Mike's with a sandwich. I love it. <laughs> He's saying, it's a pastrami. What's this guy in the middle? What? what? What is this? I've already forgotten what I've asked for. What is this? <laughs> Let's see. Anu. Is this an a, a new? I don't know who this is. But I like this art. I also like the penguin. Can we, can we get some honorable mentions to, 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 to the penguin? Also, please note that Mario's uh, name tag does say Mario Mario. Yeah, it kind of does look like he's not wearing pants, but his skin color is distinctly different. But it kind of looks like shadows. But he is definitely wearing some khakis. No, don't worry. Well, thank you, uh, Platinum Pikachu, for this excellent uh, assortment of art here. <laughs> Chrono Trigger, I mean, gotcha. Awesome. <laughs> Gracious me. So, that, that game actually was a little bit faster than I expected. I expected it to be more like in the four and a half to five hour range, so, you know. But that's fine. I'm happy with that. Aaron, we're gonna do a raid over on my buddy Jamie, Video James. I don't know how long he's been streaming, but well, he's been streaming four and a half hours. But we'll raid him anyway. He can ra he can raid somebody else if he wants to. And thank you all for watching. Appreciate you all. I'll be back with you uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be on uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern time for Mario Galaxy 2 Part One. Uh, be sure to check in on on me tomorrow for that. That's going to be a fun stream. Mario Galaxy 2 is probably my favorite Mario game. Give uh, Jamie my love. He's a good guy. He's playing Majora's Mask right now to raise money for St. Jude. He's really close to his $5,000 goal. So if you can help him hit that, that'd be amazing. Appreciate you all. Follow before you go.